messed up on YouTube, so I won't say it for at least the first minute. But they are things that all men have, and so <laughs> you should really learn about them. I mean, if you want, I can talk to Arkov. You know what I think is really interesting is that all of the sports around the world since the dawn of time that have been created all deal oh. with, like, different round objects, but never the one thing that all guys have, right? My favorite part about yes and is the yes and the and part. My least favorite part about yes and is the yes and the and part. Can we move on? <laughs> no, I thought you should have said that my least favorite part about yes and is when Bosco is here. That what? would have been you could have just my least cups. favorite part. What ever. do they call them cups? I just got an ad for Meta Quest 3. I mean, that's fair. Hi, no, Expectables are back. Expectables oh my God, not we're sponsored back. sponsored by Meta Quest 3. <laughs> <laughs> oh my I wish God. Meta Quest 3 were just the, the next iteration in the Dragon Quest series. That would have been awesome. It's true. No, see, we, we go on a Meta Quest. That's why it's called the Meta. Gosh, it's been, it feels, it was only like a month that we were gone, but yet we had that extra week, so it feels even longer. Yeah, but we're oh, back. Hey. Weeks. Yeah. We're back. I, I, I know for some people in here, you guys had Ravenloft and then also had Gobtober and and Baldur's Gate, but oh my gosh, I'm back, I'm back in the driver's seat. It feels weird, <laughs> but it's good to be back. Hello, everybody. Do you still have your license? Ooh. I do. Yeah. Okay. Surprisingly. Just making sure it hasn't been taken away yet. Or expired. Well, it could have been if I drove too many people around. What? Yeah, you, you gotta get the class DM yeah. license. In in what? Canada, if you have an N license, which is what I have, which is a new driver's license, you can't have more than one friend in the vehicle. You can have as many family members, but you can't have more than one friend. That's weird. That's it's just silly. Yeah. You can kill as many family members as you want, but you that's only just, one friend. That's yeah. just a driver's permit in the US. Yeah. It really so, is. Like you get but, it you get it and you have it for like two months they Something they like do that? that because if you get a driver's license and you're a parent you can like drive your kids and you can also like drive family members but like if you're like a teenager they don't want you like you know getting your license and immediately loading up your car with like well, it's, it's like shape friends. friends they don't want you like killing your friends but you can take out your whole family fine yeah yeah yeah, exactly so, so as long as you're you not just friends need to adopt with your everybody. family you're, also, Bosco's gonna sound weird because he's in a remote setup. He's currently in Canada. Am, it's worth pointing I'm, out. Not only am I in Canada, I'm in one of Monty's house. It's not our good friend Shay. You're not in Monty's good friend Shay's house? No, I'm not. Not yet. Dang. <laughs> you were. The, the, we were outside of Shay's house. We were burning they don't let stuff. Me in the house. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, is that just like a Canada thing? No, it's fine. It was just tax returns. Yeah, uh, it's yeah. fine. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry about you it. Were, it, was, it, was, it, it was. You were trying to interrupt Baldur's Gate three with your fucking campfire. Sorry, we were burning. Uh, we were burning Team Fortress two fan art I drew in middle school, as well as Aww. like, like my Naruto OCs and a bunch I'm of other. I'm really upset stuff. you burned all of that. that yeah, I scanned that, it. That's all. Really no, 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 no. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I scanned it first, and then I burned it because I'm that trying doesn't to make, make space. it better. You could have had the originals up for auction. We, <laughs> for real, you could have made money off of that. By burning it, you've given it power. <laughs> we also made s'mores over a broken, like, cheap hurdy-gurdy. Yeah, we, we made s'mores over a hurdy-gurdy. You burned a hurdy-gurdy? It, 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 yeah. it was broken. It was broken. It was broken. It was beyond repair. You broke it was, a hurdy -gurdy? You know how few hurdy-gurdies there are in the world? No, 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 Mark, Mark. Mark, and it was delicious. There's Mark. one left now because of you. Mark, for fuck's sake, it was literally one of those kits you get, like a puzzle kit oh, that no. you build an object out of, like a like a hey. spyglass or something, but this one made a hurdy-gurdy, and then hey, my Monty. cat goblin broke it, yes? Uh, Del wants me to smell the box. I don't know what that means. You are cutting in and out. I cannot hear you. Lies. Is he cutting no, in and out for anybody he else? Is. He, is. he is. Okay. Of course. Also, That's just the way it is. You... I don't think you can smell boxes on Twitch.tv. Uh, no. Well, maybe smell you should let me smell the box oh, anyway. Wow. I don't know what it is. Oh, Bosco, Bosco. Mm -hmm. Your, box, I, your mic you... sounds like it's in your throat. Yeah, what are you doing? Nothing. I'm sitting okay. here. Oh. Yeah, just sit at a mid-range. Do not get close to that microphone. It sounds absolutely terrible if you get too close sit to it. Sit still and don't move, young man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't move. Don't move ever. <laughs> you're going to play D&D and, and you're going to like nothing, it. Bosco. I'll do my best. Bosco okay. wins by doing nothing. <clears throat> Sit at the same range that I just Also, I don't want to hear mid. anybody getting mad at me at the, the fate of the hurdy-gurdy when it was Shay who threw it into the fire, okay? 
I'm I'm mad that it happened. I'm not mad at you. Well, blame Goblin. She's the one who broke it. Damn it, Goblin. When, Goblin. when I when we had COVID, when Connor, myself, and Thero had COVID, and Goblin had to stay at Shay's place, she broke the hurdy gurdy. Uh -huh. I offered to replace it too. I just want to point that out. I offered to replace it, and Shay said no. And then Shay burned it on the fire. We, we cooked oh. s'mores on top of it. I know I was cutting out. It's because the person whose name I won't mention has their discord at like negative 50 cut out so oh. it wasn't gonna pick up anything i did that wasn't a scream fair enough that, there you that's go that's way better yeah. That'll also do it. monty's good friend shay will never be mark's good friend shay because they Actually, burned a hurdy gurdy <laughs> oh shay has no. pictures she says so if she if she sends <laughs> those to me i'll send them to you good friend shay because shay and i have bonded mm. over so doesn't she have a new title like bug queen or something like that uh Oh god, what was it? Crap, what was the new Something title? to do with bugs. Oh, I don't fly the, the Queen of Flies or whatever. That's it, that's the the one, fly yeah. master, yeah. What? She bred she bred a uniquely genetic uh fruit fly in her science class and became a hero of the people. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there's I've seen lots enough of movies to know how that is. There's ends. lots of deep lore up there. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Jay is the master Lord, of flies. You know, Lord of the All Flies right. means something different for us in America. So. <laughs> yeah. Talk about oh, my God. Speaking, Nose speaking, goes, not piggy. Speaking of, uh, of, 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 of titles, uh, Connor, do you want to take us around the horn and, and do intros? Sure. My title is, uh, I guess... Horn Master. Uh, Rice. What is going on? Concierge of the Unexpectables Hotel. Let's introduce you to our guests, starting with Gaijin Goomba. Where are you always start you? with me. What are you up to? Why not? Uh, that was. I apologize, man. I think uh, he was getting ice for a hot second. Oh, okay. Uh, hey, everyone. Gaijin Goomba's here. I've done way too much stuff since you last heard me. Uh, I've been working with a. a uh, uh, 3D artist slash model maker, and we made funny samurai space orcs, and it's amazing. Go check it out. Uh, I've made like four videos since then. If you haven't watched my videos, you might want to. I nerd rage really hard in the most recent one. It's very fun. Um, streaming tomorrow? No, not tomorrow. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, possibly longer. Since um freaking mario rpg remake comes out that that game was my childhood plus that that game birthed the very first like ocs and cringe fan art and fan stories that i've ever made so uh you're not gonna want to miss that one because oh dear um but yeah I, i'm just i'm just doing a regular thing um Go go check me out at at, at twitch.tv slash gaijin goomba. Go check me out on on YouTube. I'm still talking about Japan and more things and more things and more things. So yeah. Right on. Sorry, caught me uh, off guard there. Uh up next is Mark Allen Jr. Where can they find you and what are you up to? You can find me on Twitter and Blue Sky at Mark Allen Jr. Here on Twitch at Aeon Protect Gaming. You can follow me on TikTok now at Mark Allen Jr. VA. And you can follow the newly dubbed Queen of the Pirates, my big chonk cat bunny, on Instagram at chonk for life. Uh, if you don't know, maybe because uh, you didn't hear either on uh, my social media or uh, in the uh, chats here, over the last few, over the last month, I guess. Um, Why didn't you watch October? I know, rude. But um, uh, my cat bunny, unfortunately, uh, had uh, an ulcerated cornea and a lot of issues going on with one of her eyes. Um, big, huge thanks to everyone who pitched in and helped fund uh, an emergency operation we had to get for her uh, to have the eye removed. Um, oh. She is at home now. She is doing just fine. Uh, doing her favorite activity, which is sleeping. Um, she's been just fine, uh, but uh, she's still looking a little gruesome. We actually did get a pirate costume, so uh, we will be dressing her up in that uh, and taking Aww. some pictures tomorrow. Those will be going up on the Instagram as well as Blue Sky, uh, Blue Sky and uh, Twitter. Um, that's been sort of the big thing that's happened in the last couple of weeks. But again, thank you everyone uh, who either shared our GoFundMe or pitched in. Um, 
it was a, a huge relief, um, and you guys are awesome. So thank you for that. Um, in other news, uh, I've had two computers basically melt down and explode in the last uh, two weeks as well. Uh, so uh, that's why my streams have been kind of not happening. Um, I am currently on a sort of temporary solution, so we may be able to achieve a stream or two in the next few days. Uh, I have to kind of rebuild this computer back into what it was before, which involves new pipe bending because it's a water-cooled PC and it's a whole mess. Um, but the good news is everything is still functioning so far. Fingers crossed. Um, so no guarantee just yet, but I'm going to say tentatively, yes, we will have a three-hour music challenge stream on Sunday. Uh, so swing by my Twitch and we will uh, spin a wheel, get a genre, and eventually uh, I'll upload the track that we made last time we did this. Woo, it's been a mess. That's me. Right on, right on, right on. When I was typing the introduction, I put down Otho the Shitter and I laughed. It is confirmed. It is confirmed. Oh, the Shitter. Otho Valentini is confirmed Shitter. Sorry. It was just. I felt so. I felt. I felt. Why you hate Connor? I felt so bad because, like, you know, there was a whole thing going on. I was like, do not laugh, do not laugh, do not laugh, do not correct it and keep moving on. <laughs> oh. that, is, that is still my my title in, in the Unexpectables Discord, by the way, is Distortion Devil Confirmed, confirmed shitter. shitter. That's right, it oh. is. It's so good. Uh, Man, we're uh, friends. Where the hell was I? Um, Zan, where can they find you? What are you up to? Hey, yo, it's me, Xanalus Grimm. Uh, if I had to have a title, as per was the bit that started, I guess I would be the washroom attendant, um, but very stealthy one. Doesn't offer you mints, doesn't look at you, just cleans up and gets the fuck out. Anyways, uh, you can find me over on uh, Monty's channel on Thursdays over where she does Dungeon of the Mad Mage around 7 p.m. Uh, Which we are going to play tomorrow because if not, Eve is going to kill me. True. Uh, Twitch.tv slash uh, Monty Glue. You can also find me on Mondays at 7 p.m. PST over at Twitch.tv slash Endless Grim, where I run a D&D fifth campaign with Bosco, Monty, and a few other friends. And then on Tuesdays, uh, we got to figure out what the hell is going on with Bosco because uh, we finished Halo Reach Lasso, and now... I'm doing shrugs because I don't know what we're going to do next, but I'm sure it'll be Halo related and it will be fun. Aside from that, I'm going to get back onto the MechWarrior Online rel relatively soon. I was up in Canada. Now I'm taking a break. So uh, look out for me over on Twitter over at uh, Zanny underscore Graham if you want to find out what I'm doing. Aside from that, that's me. Excellent. Up next, we've got Zito. Where can they find you, and what are you up to? Twitch.tv slash Zito. Go to the About page. All my socials are there. Uh, so uh, I have seven and a half days left on the Toothpick campaign, and we only just, like, barely reached 80. We have to get to 200 so I can force myself to have to do homework and give my Twitch channel a Minecraft SMP server. Oh, my God. Yep. Get me to 200 toothpicks, and I'm going to be making a Minecraft server. Uh, beyond that, uh, the Sunday will be carts, but it's going to be a little bit different this time. I actually am going to be doing a charity stream on Sunday oh. for the Boys and Girls Club of America, uh, which is a really cool foundation that like helps like get like adolescent uh, youth in America some mentorship and like like puts them out on the right track to being uh, 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 being like you know being themselves in life. Uh, so, I'll be doing that on Sunday. It'll be carts, so everyone can play. Uh, it'll have some very fun, wacky little incentives, like, uh... <laughs> let, let me run down the incentives, I'm sorry. Uh, for a hundred, for a hundred dollars, I apparently have to play as a scuffed version of my character that's in the cart racer that's being made by my friends without my knowing. So, I can't know what it is until the day it actually happens. Uh, designing uh, the top bidder and OC. Uh, making my chat chicken noodle soup. What does that entail? You'll have to get to it to see. Uh, the next one is making second and third place an OC. The next one is... I am very terse when it comes to playing... To, when it comes to Toho as a franchise... So I have to play a Toho game. And then the final one, uh, 
is play a game from the uh, collection of folks that have made such fun games like Peppa Pig World Adventures. I have yes. to play for three three thousand dollars, and I have to play Baby Shark TM Sing and Swim Party. Oh, oh my God! Another game that for some fuck reason is forty dollars. <laughs> it's forty dollars. What? what? Everything that is on disgusting. this. Every, the high, there are games on here that are $50 and some of them that are $40. Uh, one of the $50 ones on here is buh, 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 My Little Pony, A Maritime Bay Adventure. Okay. So you know you're getting good quality. Yeah, so uh, now whenever I need to torture myself for chat or for charity, I'm just going to have to buy one of the games from this uh, Steam listing. But if you could, please buy my son. That that that's my that's my request to you. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Right on. Up next, we've got Edward Bosco. Where can they find you? What are you up to? Uh, you can find me at Ed Bosco VA on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, and right here on Twitch.tv slash Edward Bosco, where I'm on vacation. I'm in the the frozen tundra known as Canada. Leave me be. I'll, I'll be back for next week. So streams will continue as usual. But this has been a blast. I want to thank Monty and her good friends, Blank, Blank, and Blank, for all hosting me. It's been a lot of fun. Honestly, like, I was telling everybody in here, like, once everyone goes home, I'm going to just sleep for 10,000 years. But it honestly was very nice having you. It was very it's surreal. Able to get, like, dinner with Monty and then immediately coming on here to play. Because normally she's, like, the disembodied head with <laughs> the protogen icon. And I'm like, oh, that's Monty. That's but, Bonnie. Like, it's yeah, but then I see Monty and then I play with Monty and it's weird. <laughs> also, Monty ran a D&D &D thing for us in person and it was so much fun. <laughs> oh yeah, I ran a 7-hour one shot in one shot, town. Baby. I wild. played my first bard. Yeah, it was it was wild. There's pictures. We'll probably share it later. There but... are pictures. I have pictures. Yeah. yeah, no, the chat's right. The grapes do need a freaking kiss. That game. Man. That's me, Connor. Continue. Sorry. <laughs> It'll be years before you can face me. Uh, speaking of grapes, Monty Glue, where can they find Pardon? you? What are you up to? Grapes? Yeah, you know. Yeah, fruit game. Oh, man. Fruit game. Uh, oh, my gosh. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. You can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. You can also find me uh, at uh, Blue Sky uh, Monty Glue as well. Again, very sorry for the lack of streams. Like I said, there have been people in town, and considering the fact that they're only here for like a week, I've kind of prioritized that. Um, however, streams should be back Friday. We should be doing some more Final Fantasy. We're, we're actually right on the tail end of base A Realm Reborn. Um, I'm hoping that the people who... There's a lot of people who join me for that, and I really hope people come in with their like war glamours. I'm, I'm hoping people can come up with some really cool glamours for that. Uh, as well as Monday, we should hopefully get back to Mass Effect. Uh, and then, yes, of course, Thursday, we have Dungeon of the Mad Mage. It is, if there's a floor to see in Dungeon of the Mad Mage, I think this is the floor, because everywhere I look, everyone says it's the best floor. Um, also, I have a throne now, so if you're, people have voiced oh. interest in that, I have a throne now. I just want to say thank you to people who've already sent me gifts. The cats are thriving. Uh, someone, Anonymous <laughs> got this really big cat tunnel and they they love it so much. Uh, so yes, thank you so much. Uh, I'll have to probably throw more things on there. But thank you so much for people who, who bought me presents and I, 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 I will definitely put them to good use. Thank you so much. <coughs> Monty, the fruit game is customizable on HBO. Also, yes, we did play the fruit game. And I beat 3,000 points. I didn't beat Connor, though, which was very upsetting. It'll be years before you can face me, Monty. <laughs> I'm no, not even... You made, I, listen, that's, Monty, that's, you made very good progress, and you would have beaten Connor if you didn't panic at the end. I know, I freaked that's out at the end. Shit, yeah. You did so well, no, got the watermelon, and Shay, we're like... Oh. Shay is a Dark Souls boss, all right? Connor's like Bowser from like Mario 64. Shay is like... The final boss in a Dark Souls game. Listen, and I'm like, listen, I'm I'm Ornstein, she smo. Sure, I don't know what that means. I, I don't, what? I think you'll find it's pronounced small. Once, uh, once fruit game comes to PC, it's over for all of you. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's on Switch. You can you can play it on. The oh, Switch I, right I know. Now. I'm not I'm not turning my Switch on for anything. When it comes to PC, I'll care. 
Yeah. I just There's... realized if I see Evie say something in the chat that's dumb, I can go punch him for real now. Yeah, you can. You're Hang in on. the same room as him. Why is everybody in the chat saying who? Do you not know fucking Dark Souls? <laughs> Whatever. Anyway. Uh, guess it's my move now. Uh, Your they can move. find my move! They can find me on Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, Tumblr, and Blue Sky at Distortion Devil. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, currently doing some stuff. My Tuesday streams are going to be a little bit interesting. Uh, coming up here soonish. More about that later. Uh, Friday, basically just play a bunch of fun games, whatever I feel like streaming with my friends. Uh, Thursday, actually, as well, I've, I've started streaming uh, with a friend of the channel, Theropod Art. Uh, started playing through God of War 2018, and that's been an interesting experience so far. Boy. Uh, there's definitely not devolved into uh, <laughs> childish shenanigans. <laughs> uh, that is happening Thursdays. Uh, Saturdays, right before either Baldur's Gate 3 or Gateway, right here on twitch.tv slash The Unexpectables. We've got uh, Yakuza Like a Dragon with the one and only Edward Bosco here joining me on those. Uh, and uh, Ryu got go to Go Studios fans might have noticed that a couple more games have come out. Uh, I'm gonna be playing this series forever, aren't I? Yeah, <laughs> apparently. I'm here. I forever. hope you like Mahjong. It's just the it's just the oh, Mr. God. Burns putting the poster up in my room. Don't forget you're here forever. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I want to learn Mahjong, like Japanese style Mahjong. I think I don't know what the term <laughs> no, is. No, you it. say that, but then with <laughs> learning, you'll be no, like, you no, I don't want to learn this. Actually, I, I never want to play this again. I want to learn how to play Japanese style Mahjong. As someone who has learned Japanese style Mahjong. No, you don't. No, you just, do not. Just Connor stick and to I learning the Digimon trading card just, game. It's way less complicated. Just okay. buy the just buy the item from the. It's black way easier to, to buy the item. Time. Money, just I learn. believe in you. Just okay. learn actual Japanese. We'll we'll <laughs> learn. <laughs> we'll play Karuta, Monty. That'll be better. That'll be okay. more interesting. Connor, will it? And also, and also, going, Connor. and also on Sundays, uh, what? am I doing on Sundays? Completely drawing a blank line. Deus Ex, right. Deus Ex Mankind Divided. It's been a bit of an odd experience so far. I'm not sure I am enjoying it as much as I did uh, Human Revolution. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I, I, the fall was just such a special period of that entire saga. <laughs> Where we weren't just, we weren't focusing on the game at all. We were just focusing yeah, no. on, on learning things about piss troughs and <laughs> whoa stuff like yeah. It's really, it's really, it's really I something. You should go check the that. vod out. Check out the vod on my channel. Um, yeah. Also, uh, I I announced this over the break, but for those of you who don't watch the uh, October lineup, first of all, why uh, fix that? Secondly, uh, you can hear me as Adrian Bakunin in Ghost Runner 2, which is currently uh, nominated for Action Game of the Year uh, for the Game Awards. I still got to stream that. Congratulations. Yeah, yes. yes, you should. Dude, it's MRAD is speedrunning that, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, Connor. Yeah. yeah. It's very cool. Let's go. Um, also... Uh, Check out my DMs Guild, where I just I released the Fulgromancer spellbook, where it has not just up to level nine, but a tenth level spell uh, that you can cast as well. Um, yeah, a bunch of different lightning-based spells. All of them are pretty unique, if I have to say so myself. Uh, so please, uh, if you want to add some uh, lightning-based fun to your D&D 5e games, then head over to the DMs Guild and purchase the Fulgermancer spellbook. Uh, and be on the lookout sometime in the future. I'm not going to put a, a date to it because that was folly last time. Uh, the Photomancer spellbook, which will be focusing on light-based spells. Um, that is it for me, I believe. Uh, this episode of The Unexpectables was brought to you in part by... Oh my god! Might you forget? I, I, I need them now. I, I put them away because I wasn't. Why is there Gundam business here? <laughs> what? 
you tell me. Because you built a Gundam, Monty. Uh, yeah, I must have. Come on, let me put the little screw bits away. Your Digimon Gundam. Gunpla? Uh, I actually was working on more Draymon the other day, but yes. You hear that? You hear those uh, Die Hard Dice? Wait, I'm sorry. Who are we sponsored by again, Connor? We're supposed to Die Hard Dice. Die Hard Dice! Ah! Mm -hmm. That's right. Die Hard Dice is your one-stop shop for dice and dice accessories. And if you haven't over to dieharddice.com, you can use the code UNEXPECTABLE to save 10% on your order. Also purchase the Lies Aspect Dice, the official collaboration between the Unexpectables and Die Hard Dice. Beautiful little porcelain colored dice. Uh, as well, check out our spring store. We've got all sorts of merch on there. We released our walkout Design shortly Hell before yeah. uh, shortly before we went on our October lineup. Be sure to pick that up. A uh, sticker, mug, uh, Ooh, apparel, workout. what have you. I have the and image. We, I put and it up and we will we will be having more designs in the future. Rest assured. Yeah. Uh, we also couldn't keep doing this week in week out. Without bits and subs from amazing viewers like you. Viewers such as. You have seven minutes. You might have to, unfortunately, might not be able to read off that. You're a rap god. Yeah. I think I'm going to have to do that. All I right. think people missed us a lot. And you know what, chat? We missed you too. Cracks vocal cords. Here I go. Uh, Zen Lita, thank you for the 43 months. And Telerus, thank you for the 28 months of Prime. Mist Williams, thank you for getting a tier one sub to the Citric King. An acceptable name, thank you for the 43 months. Real Meta, thank you for the 29 months. The Talbs, thank you for the 44 months. Miki D92, thank you for the 44 months. 20 BMG, thank you for the 36 months. Alpha Rabbit, thank you for the 14 months. Beach Cowboy, 1993, thank you for the 19 months. Noel and Void, thank you for the 20 months of Prime. Mikan Pachi, thank you for getting your tier one sub to Gaijin Goomba. Yeah. Turi Sauce, thank you for the 21 months. Man of Many Faces, thank you for the 35 months. Real Meta, thank you for the 10,000 bits. And the additional 10,000 bits. Oh my god. Uh, uh, War Fay, thank you for the 44 months. Uh, Ellie Kit, thank you for the 23 months. Dice Ruler, thank you for the 6 bits. Vardix S, thank you for the 44 months. Skench the Null Barbarian, thank you for the 44 months. Pixel Belladonna, thank you for the 27 months. Hippo Lobotomus, thank you for the 5 bits. Like a Stark Fang, thank you for the 43 months. Callum Draws, thank you for the, three, uh, the 43 months. El Robot, that's Spanish for <clears throat> the robot. Thank oh, you for shit! The, <laughs> right, thank you for the firm. 25 months of Prime. Uh, Bubba Bob, thank you for the 37 months. Just another clone, thank you for the 40 months of Prime. Ebon Sky, thank you for the 40 months. Kobold with a Big Gun, thank you for the 44 months. Your Conscience, thank you for the five bits. Awesome Link, thank you for the 25 months of Prime. Raw Hockey Dude, thank you for the 25 months. Diana Hatter, thank you for the four months of Prime. Tugs the Kobold, thank you for the 25 months of Prime. Your Conscience, thank you for the five bits. Uh, Dragon Alchemist, thank you for the 42 months. Alpha Rabbit, thank you for the 100 bits. Mage Linzio, thank you for the 23 months. Alpha Rabbit, thank you for the 100 bits. Mud Martin, thank you for the 41 months. Mikan Pachi, thank you for the 19 months. Random Man, thank you for the 44 months. Yoji Maru, thank you for the 11 months of Prime. Dreadlord Bedrock, thank you for the 44 months. Lunatic Crow, thank you for the 44 months of Tier 2. Fully Cooly 9000, thank you for the 21 months. Wolfwing Pup, thank you for the 6 months of Prime. Amudi Moogle, thank you for Sam. the 13 months. Sorry, cat. Anonymous, thank you for giving a Tier 1 sub to Fanfur Seeks No Attention. Oh, Shay. <laughs> Shay. Yeah. Uh, Attention received. Shiny, shiny Lamp, thank you for the 42 months. Mr. Snacks, thank you for the 29 months. Captain Actually, thank you for the 44 months. Wolfwing Pup, thank you for the 10 bits. Draconian Nine, thank you for the 40 months. Small Nyanta, thank you for the two years of seven. Magic Ninjago, thank you for the three years of seven. Mr. Insecure, thank you for the 44 months. Uh, Zanu, Zan, Zanuk Mizana, thank you for the 11 months. Sloth130, thank you for the 44 months. Nettle Norseman, thank you for the 35 months of Prime. Level 1 Eevee, thank you for the 99 bits. 
small neon, so I think for the 500 bits, and the additional 500 bits as well, and the additional 500 bits on top of that. Oh my god. Uh, Harmless NPC, thank you for the 44 months. Point Dexter, thank you for the 33 months of Prime. And W. Joe, thank you for the 44 months. Morth Randor, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Solar Misfit, thank you for the 21 months of Prime. Morth Randor, thank you for the 1,000 additional bits. Uh, Mega Waffles, thank you for the 100 bits. Volk551, thank you for the 18 months. Mega Waffles, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, I think some of these may actually be repeating. Oh. Uh oh. Hmm. Uh. uh Huh. James Rochelle, thank you for the 44 months at Tier 2. Zilban, thank you for the 30 months of Prime. Lord Servitor, thank you for the 44 months. Tribal Born, thank you for the 300 bits. Ira the Snow King, thank you for the 205 bits. The Drifter of Time and Space, thank you for the 15 months. Kaze, thank you for the 42 months. Emerald Bandit, thank you for the 38 months. The Dang Master, thank you for the 25 months. Lord Servitor, thank you for the 100 bits. Kaze 3173, thank you for the 42 months. Emerald Bandit, thank you for the. Yep, these are definitely repeating. Uh oh. Uh, hang on a minute. I'm just going to refresh. Emerald Bandit, thank you for the 38 months. Yep. Uh, Blackfoot Ferret, thank you for the 1.3k bits. Uh, Shrike. 18, thank you for the 28 months of Prime. Uh, the Unknown, thank you for the 22 months. Uh, Trafalgar Silver Main, thank you for the raid. Morth Randor, thank you for the 1.2 thousand bits. Psycho Deli, thank you for the brand new sub of Prime. Gamma Leo, thank you for the 44 months. And Draco Choji, thank you for the 44 months. Alrighty. It has been a month. Are you guys ready to dive back in? I'm to so the I'm ready to die. Wait. I am so fucking ready. Dude, I I, um. <laughs> I don't want to say it, but I feel like chat's probably been <laughs> I don't want to say it actually, never mind. Chat's been edging for a whole month for the theme song. Holding oh, oh, oh. in a lot of um, you know, the word that they like to say. We when... knew that you would come, but you have come. <laughs> I have come. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Well, with that, let us return to the Unexpectables. So, when last we left our heroes, Milo, the Azimar cleric, Iskan, the lizard folk druid, Gaius, the satyr fighter, Kai, the human wizard, Otho, the shifter rogue, and a new found friend in Stragal, the Kenku wizard, in search for a strong medicine to heal sick children in the hidden reaches of Athel, the party was tasked with seeking the greatest and best apothecarian within the region. After searching in Hearthland and being directed to the east, the party has made their way through the harsh lands of Delvaria to meet with Lady Ea, 
After competing in a grand hunt, harsh training and deep drinking, the party finds themselves in the strange set of circumstances, with a drunk Prince Rerjar Ragnus stumbling about the grounds looking for his wife, and the warrior master Razorback Redmond having invoked his favorite game, Princess Keepaway, and has also decided to rope in the unexpectables into this whole affair. Are you guys ready for your gay music? Our game? Wait, sorry? What? I've always Pardon? been ready for gay music, Monty. I mean, if you have gay music, by all means. Also, I did not sign off on this. <laughs> uh, you know what? Fairly, pretty gay. Very fey. Yeah, this is the music that plays when I'm gay, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Theme pretty sure this is what, when you when you reveal your gay card, this is what they play. It's like, oh, I'm out. Yep. My my the, gay music is a little Bonnie, more Bonnie, please, can we like move it. on? We Kat. are, we are, we are. Theme of gay. Theme my, of gay. My first, for anyone who wants to know, this is literally called Sneaky by Kevin McCloud. Sneaky. So. Sneaky. 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 Theme of gay. Not to be closeted. confused with stinky. The theme of gay parentheses closeted. <laughs> Oh my God. I missed you guys. All right. Uh, first question, because it's been it's been a month. Sturgall, you are drunk, correct? Uh, correct. I don't think for a whole month, but yeah. Sturgall is drunk. <laughs> that Eastgen, would be the worst. Are you also drunk? Iskan is also drunk and speaks of himself in the third person now. All right. Rare Gerard is Peter also Watch. drunk. Why did I write down drunk me as my note? <laughs> because it's that like was the, the page most that just says for you. <laughs> All right. You even write down has shot at Redmond. Make move. All right, and everybody else is, I believe, sober. Correct? Very sober. Uh -huh. sober for I, this shit. I yes. believe Gaius like aced all of the con checks on drinking, if I'm mistaken. Correct, Gaius. I'm a good boy. You're a good boy. <laughs> yeah, that's a word for it. So. Okay. As you guys have had a dinner with the both the princes as well as uh, Prince Adron's wife, uh, you have partaken in very nice wine, uh, and immediately, Rerjar in a drunken stupor has left to go find Aya. However, upon his exit, the rest of you find Redmond currently with a gaggle of berserkers outside the door who quickly take you aside and explain to you that it is prime time for their favorite game. Strigal, I believe you followed Rerjar. Did Iskan, would you follow in your drunken state, do you think? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Iskan and Strigal, you have you have stumbled after Rerjar, who has headed towards the apothecary. Razorback mentioned... Redman, whose oh. art I will show again because it has been quite a bit of time. Oh my god, god. do this to me. How could we after playing the gay Redmond? theme? <laughs> I am playing the gay theme. There he is. <laughs> it's our man. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the tempo just increases. <laughs> <laughs> We, we enter the nightcore version of the gay theme. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> there he is. There's your man. Uh, he pulls the rest of the sober crew aside uh, and kind of stops and goes, I hate to bother you after such a nice evening of eating and drinking, but we are prime for an excellent game. And you can see behind him currently her arms crossed, seeming a little annoyed by this, is a, uh, uh, also flanked by her guard, uh, Dessa, the <laughs> halberdier. Oh, I love games. How do you play? Okay. He watches, he shuffles into his pocket. And he pulls out... What pocket? <laughs> right? <laughs> <I was gonna laughs> say. You know, the man pocket. Yeah, the uh, one in the back. My man God, pocket. Guys. Oh, no, <laughs> not the back pocket. That's where you keep the good shit. Uh... <laughs> Meryl says women have more hiding places than men. Redmond Razorar begs to differ. How do I... Hold on. Oh, God. You know what's here. <laughs> oh, they changed the map thing. How do I change the... You have to drag the little yellow tab over. Oh. It's very finicky. You're talking it about the... It's not letting me. Uh-oh. Well, that ain't uh -oh. no good. Sorry, one second. All right, chat. Just, uh, just, let's let's talk about the anatomy right of now. Redmond. <laughs> oh my God. Sorry, what? The music is only getting gayer. <laughs> it, it is super gay. I love that. 
all you need to be gay is to be a silly oboe. I feel like out of all the, the gay instruments, an oboe I got is it. up there. Hey, let's go. It is up oh. there. Yeah. The oboe's very up. It is incredibly finicky. Oh my it's goodness, map. we have a map of the castle! Map of the castle! Castle, oh my God. castle, castle map. map. Looks like a high school. <laughs> there, there was a part of me, that because Redmond was taking up a piece of my screen, I thought wherever the real estate that wasn't taken up by Redmond said gay room. <laughs> I mean, with this music playing, I would expect uh... there to be a very large gay room. Uh, so Redmond procures out a very uh, simplified map of what you assume to be the stronghold. Um, and he kind of shows it to all of you and he goes, Are you ready for the rules of the game? I'm glad to see that you're enthused, Milo. You seem like a game enjoyer. Milo's starting to collapse his smile a bit, noticing that <laughs> it's the whole place we're at. We're gonna, all, right, all right, Milo, we're going to play a really big game of Clue. Are you ready? No. <laughs> Who did it with the candlestick, Milo? You did what with the candlestick, says Redmond? <laughs> no. Sorry, no, it's the game music talking. <laughs> Alright, so here's the rules of the game, if you're interested in playing. And it looks like uh, Eastscan and it was Stragal, right? Stragal? <laughs> Crickets. He's oh, not here, so he's asking you guys because Trigal's yeah, not here. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. That's right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes. It looks yeah. like Eskin and Strigal have also partaken of drink, which automatically puts them on Team Rare Gerard. What's funnier than one guy stumbling around drunk is two or three. Right, However... So hmm? Oh, go well, on. You have a question. Go on. Uh, I just want to know what we're doing. This is the whole layout of, of all the grounds. What, what exactly is going on? This is how it works. You ever play tag? It's like a child game. My little shifty eyes. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Think about tag, but with extra steps, and there's only two players. However, there's also the supporting cast, more or less. There's Team Rare Gerard, and then there's Team Aya. And as he says that and points towards Aya, Aya is just like, oh, I have stuff to do today. And he's like, just, it's fine, it's fine. Basically, Rare Gerard is drunk, and he's looking for Aya. We have Aya. Our goal is to prevent him from getting to Aya before he passes out. The other team's goal is to get him to Aya. Whoever, if the Rejar team gets Rejar to Aya, they win. If we manage to keep Aya away from Rejar and he passes out, we win. Those are the win conditions. I have a question. Yeah. How have you not been killed by Rejar by keeping him from his wife? Uh, he kind of looks over towards Aya, and Aya kind of looks a little sheepishly, and she kind of goes, he's very affectionate when he's drunk. He's a little bit more, I guess, easygoing, to say the least. Oh, I gotta hear the other perspective <laughs> with the other two guys, then. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you think? What is Aya, like... This this feels a little wrong. Is she actually in on this, or is she being kind of forced into this? She doesn't seem like her arms being twisted. She seems mildly annoyed. More like looking at Redmond like you and your your games sort of deal. Kind of giving him an accusatory look. But other than that, she actually does seem like she's... It's hard to read. You know, you don't know. She doesn't seem resistive, but she also does seem mildly perturbed. But you're not gotcha. sure whether what for what reason. As long as it's not going to get in the way of things, I, I guess that's fine. If, Redmond, you don't mind, there's some things I do need to do around the stronghold. Perhaps if we can mix that into the game. Redmond kind of looks and goes, I suppose that's fair. So, I guess that, that therein lies the question. What team are you guys on? We can split things up evenly. Personally, oh. I want the wizard on Team Aya's side, but that's just me. I, I was going to say one more quick question. Are we allowed to use magic in this? Oh, hell yeah, as long as it doesn't hurt anybody. <laughs> well, man, I guess Milo, middle. you're sitting this one out. <laughs> Milo does the middle distance yeah. there. Man, what what am I for? There, there's, a, there's a fucking miniature sun floating over his head. He just waves it away like, no, 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 no. Oh, so saucy. Oh, so saucy. He comes back to reality. <laughs> Good. 
All right, I guess this is fine. Uh, I'm I'm gonna be on on team A. Uh. Oh, <laughs> she smiles at you actually when you say that. Well, more someone's like, gotta make someone's gotta like, make sure you're not housed. More like team double A, right? Because we're both Azamar. As a joke, I, mm. I I do the double thumbs up better. <laughs> <laughs> she like tries to do a double thumbs up, but she's holding some papers and she's like squeezing them to her chest, like yeah. <laughs> Anyone want to jump over to Rarishar's side? It feels a little unfair to have only the drunk people on his side. I thought that was the point. No. Say hey, don't. It's the life choice. Let them fucking deal with it. Well, guys, what you gonna do? Whose team are you guys gonna go on above board? Do we do we have to give them a not drunk person? It would be nice, but you don't have to if you guys want to have a sober <laughs> team. No. Drunk I, team. I, like, I like winning above games, so in game y'all can do whatever you want. But I do like to win. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's Gaia's competition and all that. He's he's gonna want to win. All right. So it's Stragal, Eskan, and Rare Jar, uh, yes. and probably some Berserkers are gonna go on to that side versus. Milo, Otho, Kai, and uh, you know Gaius. What? I'll go over to Rare's Rare side. You're gonna go over to Drug side? Okay. Oh boy. You'll be the only one on our team who knows we're playing. It's only <laughs> fair. <laughs> Just All right. Is fair. I like this. So. <laughs> this isn't fun anymore. <laughs> team Rare's Rare is going to be indicated by the Stragal token. <laughs> <laughs> To emulate drunkenness. Uh, team AO will be emulated by Wark to Let's emulate go. soberness. Yeah, 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 yeah. To emulate Wark. Because Wark can't sober. get drunk, technically, so <laughs> he's might, the greatest. Might be her virtue is Warkiness. <laughs> well, yeah, that, <laughs> I, I don't know. He can never be tried. drunk if he never drinks. Yeah. All right. Have we tried? <laughs> he doesn't have a mouth hole. He has a mouth, but there's no Wait, hole that goes anywhere. Then how does yeah, he work? Hey, but how Where does, does the sound, sound come from? But, but if he's a little mupp if he's a little muppet fella, if we just dumped him into a vat of fucking like alcohol, wouldn't that just make him sloshed? He would just exp he would just expand. <laughs> I love what someone said. If he doesn't have a mouth hole, how does he work? It comes from the heart, you guys. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would like to cast Bane on Otho before we begin. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Please note what team you are on. Yes, Monty. Oh, man, we got the shitter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got actual crocodile e-scan, confirmed shitter Otho. So, currently, it's just a generalization, this is where you two are on the map. Currently, Team Aya is in front of the kitchen, whereas Team Rare Jar is heading towards the apothecary. Understood. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. So wait, okay. we have to get them to the apothecary. Got it. You're trying to keep Aya away from Rarefar. Rarefar is trying to get to Aya. That is Gosh. the plan. And you're on Team Aya. So your goal is to keep her away and keep Rarefar distracted and away from her. I got the prep. I can't fucking power word kill. Uh, wait, right. wait. I, I can't wait for the for the King of Eason Vale ask chase scene that we'll just do <laughs> Dude, if we if get we... spotted. If we make it through the kitchen, you guys have no escape. There are no doors to the outside on that side of the house. Hey, quick question. Who has the key? Me. Uh, key? Oh, the shrink key? Uh-huh. Pretty sure Gaius has it. That was me. I have it. Oh. <laughs> Why do you want it? Do you want to do some funny shenanigans? I mean, I think I know what I think I know what you're putting down, but yeah. <laughs> All right, then you, then you 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 go you 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 got it you got it. All right, but here's the tricky part if you're part of Team Aya. So here's here's the good sign. Team Rajar can move twice, so you can move to two locations at once. What? Team Aya, however, you have a bit of a of a of a difficult part here. Aya will try and attempt to stop in places because she's also trying to do fucking research at the same time. <laughs> what? what? Oh. That's not an advantage for us. That's a double advantage for the other fucking team. It is, yeah. So you have to work around it. It's it, yeah, the, the team drunk. A is the harder team. The most, of the, most of the people on our team are drunk. Are drunk, yeah. yes. Very, that is their very downside. Rolling everything with disadvantage? Everything with disadvantage, Okay, yes. I'll take that. That's fine. 
All considered right. poison. Um, so <laughs> uh, Aya doesn't have good strength. So guys, just keep shoving her, and we'll be good. Or pick her up if you have to. Oh, oh, we have a better <laughs> idea. Okay, good. We can we can do this. We have the strength. All right. Well, I would like whoever would like to represent each team to roll an initiative. This is not an initiative. Uh, don't make me do it. Well, Lock actually, it I might is it, be good at it. I was about to say, is it just a raw d20? Is it just, a, just your normal dex? It's like, just a raw d20, yeah. Are you rolling with disadvantage? Not cooked. Uh, <laughs> hey, Zan. Uh, well, my, my initiative bonus, if it's just d20, my initiative bonus might not be higher than a... Uh, uh, it's I, just a straight d20, fam. Oh, well, fine. All right, yeah. Not rolling no mod, no uh, modifiers. I got you. Gosh darn it. Team Rajar. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> failed! Take that, Obama, <laughs> screw you! Uh, Don't worry. No roll back. Hey, Gaijin. Uh -huh. Don't worry about it. I, I trust you, Gaijin. I trust you. All right. All right. You got this. You can be good. Let's oh, go. He's a, he's a coward. 14. Let's go. Okay. Just like I play. All right. What? So. <laughs> this is why Herbert lost the war. Let's go. You'll notice I also placed your guys' tokens in the bottom left corner. Chat can't see it, but it's fine. Uh, that is just in case you splinter off for some, whatever reason and get lost good. if you're drunk. So that is why your tokens are on the side. Okay, so Team Aya, you are up first. Aya right. needs to go to Erdan's room to use do research. What do you guys choose to do? So Erdan's room is just to the left, right? Yeah, it's, it's just right just here. Just to the left, yeah. So the easy thing to do is to get them there. Yep. Because they have to uh, go. The closest, the closest way they can get there is main hall to kitchen, out the door, and then to Erdan's room. The problem is there's only one way out of that room. It is worth pointing out that the gray flooring is actually exterior, so it's like a breezeway. So it's all oh. exterior. Yeah, there's not interior. So keep that in mind. So okay. wait, so the kitchen, the kitchen, and the the food pantry do connect to Erdan's room? Uh, they no, they no. Don't. The okay, only door I, is right here. Okay, good. I'm just making sure I understood that correctly. Yeah, I say we just go there because they're going to need at least uh, two turns to get to us. All right. So, it's Team AF, not... with your somewhat large crowd of people, shuffle work. into Erdan's room. The moment you enter into the sorcerer's chambers, you, you don't even knock. You just throw open the door with just the massive group of people. And Erdan has a glass of wine in his dragon-like talon and seems to be, like, on a quote-unquote Discord call on his, like, crystal ball in the center of the table. And the moment all of you charge in, he immediately grabs a blanket and, like, covers it up and is like, what are you doing in here? Uh, we're playing a game! He says cheerfully. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Aya kind of stumbles in and goes, um, I actually need to look at something of yours. And Erdan just kind of looks at the giant, sheepishly smiling crowd and kind of rolls his eyes and goes, well, hurry up! As you all load yourselves into Erdan's room, and that is the team fuck is my Can Monty, large crowd. I have a technical question, that. both for my teammates and for you, Monty. Yes. Can we use something like Expeditious Retreat to move us quicker? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so guys, just keep in mind that I can do that if we want to make her move faster. Also, okay, okay a couple. Okay, this is very important, Monty, because this is technically it, it doesn't actually hurt, but it can be a little <laughs> malicious. Okay. Uh, is is hold person not allowed? You can hold person, absolutely. Okay, cool. Now, second question. Can I hang out at the door right here? Absolutely, yes. Cool. All right, guys, if I see him coming, I'm going to knock on the door three times. Just, uh, I, I, I don't know. If you can hide her under something or... You, you still got that key, right? Yeah. You could shrink her down, put it in your pocket. Mm -hmm. She does not hear this, by the way. I am whispering. <laughs> Fair enough, yeah. She's currently looking <laughs> through it looks uh, to be oh smart. That's actually brilliant. That's yeah, actually but brilliant. Gaius looks left and right, looks at himself. No pockets, only duffel bag. <laughs> <laughs> you know this, right? Oh, I'm oh, sorry, what'd you say? Yep, he, I, I'm just, I'm jokingly saying he has no pockets. The only pocket he has is his duffel bag. I'm going what? to just, I'm going to just kidnap the fucking princess and put her in my fucking duffel bag. This is a great plan. Nothing could ever possibly go after, wrong here. After she's done with her work. After she's done with her work. After she's done. We just done. run back to Hearthlin. <laughs> 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 it's like the kid in Sandlot we who hits the ball and they're like, run home. And he just 
bring and back you to his house. gotta help us. Hey, that would be the <laughs> ultimate way to win Princess Keepaway, is just abduct her. <laughs> <laughs> Leave. Take her back to her parents. Wait, where did you guys go? Oh, we've been at Hearthland. Like, we dimensioned you, you, the fuck out of Are you there. suggesting we guys were... becomes a dead by daylight fucking murderer, just hoists yes. her over his shoulder and walks no, up into the no, desert? No. We gotta Scooby Doo it. We have to, we all have to each have one part of the body, hold it up our head, above our heads, and run Scooby Doo style. <laughs> God damn All right. it. All right, meanwhile, Team Drunk, you at this point make your way to the apothecary. Uh, do, the door do we is- even know we're looking for Aya? Uh, you know where Jar is, as he throws okay. open the door and is like, Aya! Aya! And he like walks into the apothecary and stumbles, and he actually like lifts up a bed and just looks underneath <laughs> it, like, Aya! Wow. It's not here. Why is she here? I don't think she's here. But she no. lives here. <laughs> don't worry, Your Highness. She's around here somewhere, I'm sure. I'm what? fairly certain she lives in the whole castle, not just one room. Oh, maybe she's in the bedroom. Wait, wait. I'll, I'll see if I can hear her. You I'm don't have any ears, that though. That. <laughs> I have ears. You, you just can't see them. Just have ears. <laughs> oh my god. I'm going to do a perception check to see hey, if I can Disadvantage, you're drunk. <laughs> but could I, uh, Monty, could I do something to aid in this? <laughs> what on earth could you do to aid in this? <laughs> I don't I'm know. I'm going to perception with disadvantage. I've got, a, I've got my master of tactician that I can use to... <laughs> This seems right. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Two. Let's go. That's okay. still a 15. Okay. Fuck off, nice Mark. <laughs> all right, all right. You'll get to roll high now. I'll just, I'll just roll. I'll roll a perception as well, if that's what we're call, uh, calling go for. Go for it. Du, 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 du. Okay. 13. 13. All right. Trunk Eastkin still has the best. Oh, yeah, theory. seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you don't hear any noises from the garden, uh, and you don't seem to hear any noises coming from the left hallway from where you are, leading up to the guest rooms. Okay, so she's not that way, and he, like, swings his hand out to point towards the garden and just smacks his hand into the wall. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> and she's not that way and he points through the apothecary towards uh towards the hallway but she lives here mm. <laughs> if i might make a suggestion i doubt that she'd be being kept in her usual haunts stop she's not a ghost <laughs> yeah, well, so she's not a ghost it's not no, a ghost. No, he kind of like there's, it's a he puts figure. a hand on your chest and like gently pushes you, Otho, as if like how dare you insinuate my wife is a ghost. I just get thrown like fifteen feet back. Hold this into an overhead, you idiot. I stand corrected, <laughs> there was a light your breeze and Otho's dead. Hey, your Grace, it's a figure of uh, speech. My name's not Grace. It's Rajar. Uh, Rajar, it's a figure of speech. <laughs> I'm checking the bedroom. This is this is of... this is turning into a college movie. This I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, Wait, I, I... no, hold on. No, she's it's not this way. I didn't hear her here. Roll it. Roll sure persuasion check. Their bedroom check. is over there. Oh God. Yeah, persuasion could, check. Yeah. yeah could I try? Could I try and aid with this? I have. Yes, I, you are. You are sober, so you I, are. Uh, Persuasive. I'm also I'm also double proficient in persuasion. So master of tactics, drunk people. <laughs> well, I right, so, uh, um, with my disadvantage, well? I rolled an eight. Okay, it's like herding cats. So Rare Jar with disadvantage well? rolled. Yeah, you're rolling persuasion against Rare Jar's stubbornness here. Uh, that is a twenty-two. Okay, as you go to stop him, and he's heading towards the bedroom. What do you say to him to stop him? Uh, he, he's going to remember what Iskan said, and he's going to trust his judgment as Iskan has shown to be quite perceptive in the past, and he's going to look down the hallway into the main hall. Uh, Your Highness, perhaps 
we'd best check out in the main hallway. It is a large open space. Maybe she's in there somewhere. You're right. Why would she be in the bedroom? She doesn't want to see me right now. She likes you so much more. Oh, <laughs> I'm sure that's not true, Your Highness. It's probably that she's not sleepy. That Where does she go? True. Where does she go when she's awake but not sleeping? Your apothecary, she lives there. No, no, no. When she's not working. I don't know. <laughs> oh, it's poor oh, man. Okay. Let's, she, let's... Feeds, she feeds Ragnarok. Then she might be in the kitchen then trying to get food for Ragnarok. Yes. Yeah. Oh my She's god, he, he like, fucking like, oh, grabs boy. her head like You're a like, fucking like, like, genius. <laughs> he grabs her head, like... <laughs> her doll, and like squishes like the feathers so it just like it, it touches your skull. This he is how grabs... I <laughs> <laughs> He grabs your head and goes in real close and goes, Oh my god, you're so fucking smart. He lets go of you. <laughs> Iskan was like reaching up to grab Rejar on the shoulder to give like a comforting hand at the exact moment that he just takes off down the hallway and Iskan just grips onto the shoulder, flapping behind him like a flag. <laughs> All right, that is Team Rejar's turn. You guys have visited the apothecary in the main hall. Team Aya. First of all, uh, Aya is trying to find research right now. Is anyone going to help her with that to help expedite this? I would hope everyone in the room would help with that while I stand Kai, guard. Kai, would you like to help her with that um, as you're good with books? or I'm okay with books. I'm more worried about this fucking team that's getting close to me. Um, that's why I'm um, outside. Yeah, I'm just I'm torn between she needs to handle her shit and I can make her handle her shit faster. Yeah, I guess I'll help. Fine. Yeah. Uh, Do you handle shit for breakfast? Roll what? an investigation. Fuck up, <laughs> <laughs> Roll an investigation check with advantage. I'll take it. Uh, Is that a pseudo happy Gilmore reference? <laughs> a Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. Uh, Aya, interestingly enough, doesn't seem to be going through books. She seems to be kind of like pulling aside it's actually interesting the shelves that you had saw urdan had actually can be pushed aside revealing more shelves behind them almost like a Shit. hidden bookshelf however this bookshelf doesn't contain books it seems to contain a lot of papers a lot of log books and archives uh and as Aya begins to flip through she actually you know as you go to come and help her she turns to you and goes oh thank you um i'm looking for a visitation log about less than a year ago from a visitor from ethel actually Oh no, the music is getting yet gayer. Oh no, it continues to gay. As the two of you begin to flip through pages, eventually you do find a logbook that she describes. Nice. Does that, that mean is... the hell out of her? No, she's got to read it. <laughs> Fucking read faster, woman! <laughs> that was the turn to find it, which you have found, but she has not read it. Can I, since I'm out actually keeping watch, can I do a perception check to see if I hear anything? God, sure. Go for it. I will say, Team Rerjerar, Team Rerjerar, choose someone amongst you to do a stealth check, and then Team Aya, choose someone amongst you to do a perception check. I felt it's eyes Otha. lay on me. It's <laughs> my my it's perception is plus five. Or no, not perception. Sorry. Uh, they walk up those. Here. Then again, I have rolled fireball. notoriously crap on my stealth rolls. This, this is the important campaign. one, Connor. No, you... this is you're gonna fail like always, I believe. Uh, I got you, fam. No. Oh, oh that is a natural twenty. <laughs> uh... Wow. <laughs> well, whoever on Team A could get a natural twenty, and and it could be it's down to the full number. I, I I will I will take this endeavor. <laughs> no bomb for you. It was close. It was it's close. close. It's, it's, close. A game. We, it's a twenty. Unfortunately, Milo, you do not hear anyone approaching. Three drunk idiots and a smart man <laughs> are stealthy enough. Apparently. He's putting He's putting hey. pillows down in front of all of our steps. <laughs> 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 no, no, he ties pillows to your feet. <laughs> I mean, it's a big hall, so, you know. That's fair. That's each, fair. each room we walk into, he's quickly setting up anechoic chambers. We're just so drunk, it, we're army crawling. 
It's so. This, <laughs> trying to I'm counteract just... the Squidward walk. <laughs> <laughs> so I will just periodically be checking back and forth this way. All right. That brings us to Team Rajar. Unless, Gaius, was there anything you wanted to do to try and assist here? Force her to faster. I was told to fucking get the key ready the moment <laughs> like I heard a knocking. If I hear anything else other than knocking, I'm going to just sleight of hand hand her the fucking, like, put, like, a bookmark in the thing she's reading. Slip the key <laughs> in between her fingers. <laughs> I want to imagine you just do that raw, like you just, like, a big massive hand puts a bookmark in and shoves the key <laughs> in your hand. <laughs> it, it, it's, just like a, it's just like a little wet slap, like... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, Team Rajar, as uh, as you all stumble into the main hall, uh, Rajar kind of stops in the middle of the hall and goes, Oh, it's the fire pit. What? It's the fire pit. No, this we're... place looks we're... familiar. She's in the fire. <laughs> <laughs> Have we been here before? This is where we had the meal, where we met you. And he kind of curls his nose in disgust. <laughs> <laughs> We've been here a few times. And it was all like, look at different person. And everyone attacked him. And I was like, no. And she's like, but I got it. And I was like, no. And then she did it anyway. God. But, but if she hadn't, we would never have been friends. Damn it, Aya. <laughs> it's okay. They're just feelings. They'll heal. It's fine. She's happy. She's happy. She likes other people. Especially you, owl men. I'm blue sure she's. Hearth and robes and your pokey stick and your stupid, beautiful face. <laughs> Thank Giant you. Giant eyeballs. <laughs> that music is really taking big. hold. It, um, it, I, when you were in Hurtland during the war, I'm I'm sure there were parts of home you missed. No, no, no one was here. Just my brother, my dad. No one was ever. He kind of sits down cross-legged in the the main hall. <laughs> in the pit. No one who ever you know was excited to see me. Hey. I'm excited to see you. Yeah! You know what? The hell's with those people. We're excited to see you. Who else is gonna make me hug a snake? That's right, I did do that. I made you hug a snake. They give such tight hugs. They're all hug, man. There's no need something. How can something with no arms be good at hugging? And with that, you ace a turn talking about snake. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good, thank God. Race or gather our strength. I was going to say, <laughs> tactical advantage now. We oh, know good. about we snakes. Have That's true. All right, Team Aya. Uh, Aya is going to flip through this book. Fuck up. She rolled a natural one. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> God. It's, just, it's just a singular fly just keeps pestering her. I'm gonna take hey, her and this book in a bag of holding. This is uh Mani. Uh-huh. Since we're oh, are we doing team A stuff at this point? Like all it together? is now team A stuff, yeah. I'm gonna do a silly. Okay. I love I'm silly. gonna I'm gonna go over here in front of the kitchen door. Uh -huh. See? And uh I've got this funny little flask of oil, and we're near the kitchen, so it would make sense. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to booby trap this door with with uh, the, the last uh, flask of oil that I have. <laughs> what happens okay. if we have to come this way? Well, I'll warn you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you going to do this Japanese prank style and just prop it over the door? At the no, top? no, no. I'm, I'm scattering it on the ground. Uh, okay. I'm home like alone. Look, look, I am, I am, I am the Macaulay Culkin. Okay. <laughs> All right. The oil has been it has been added to the map. There you go. Oh, I love doing red letter media. <laughs> Milo Coley Culkin. I tried. <laughs> it was close. It was close. <laughs> I love Coley Culkin. <laughs> All right, Gaius and Kai. Anything you want to do? You know what? what? Fuck it. What do I roll to su stupidly savant what she's looking for haphazardly by looking over her shoulder? 
Uh, I'd say probably either investigation or just a flat intelligence of your choice. Good. Both of them are garbage. I'm doing it. I have I nothing else you, right now. I mean, shit. you could probably beat a one, a natural one. You say that, Monty. Monty why would you say that right before he rolls? You, you fucking said no that. No, for you. You've, you've cursed shit. me. To the Shadowland. All right. Investigation, you said. That's right, guys. Overcoming yeah. odds. Here I go. Boom. Nine. Boom. Nine. One. It's interesting. This book isn't like an itemized serial list of people visiting, but people of note who have visited. Specifically, Erdan mm -hmm. seems to be keeping some sort of ledger of like actually important people who have shown up. However, as Aya is flipping through the pages, you don't see anything that in particular stands out to you as important. Uh, a lot of the things are specifically looking for exotic goods, uh, some visiting, hoping to perhaps, you know, hire the Dabarian berserkers for issues back at home and being met with some resistance, uh, things like that. However, unfortunately, as the two of you pour over, you can't seem to find what she's looking for. And she can't be hurried either. That's the other thing. She seems to be taking her time, making sure she doesn't miss anything. It's okay. I have, I have, I have the stealth. I have the nuclear option. Hold up spy <laughs> box. Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh... I have the nuclear <laughs> option and the bag in my other hand. <laughs> like Indiana Jones waiting to swap it out. Yep, I'm just, yep, and that's just Kai is standing right behind her looking over at, he, and I want you to understand that Kai can see this indefinitely. <laughs> I, I approve. Amazing. <laughs> Uh, Kai right. is, is, this is the time to do it. Kai's going to cast Expeditious Retreat. On? Uh, he can only do it on himself. So he'll okay. force her to move faster because it'll be on him. Uh, How? Because normally when you, like, pull somebody, it's half movement. So it would just uh, negate that penalty of forcing her to gotcha, move faster. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. You got it. All right. All right. Unfortunately, that ends the Aya turn. It is other the our turn. I'm just saying, I kind of look like a snake, but my hugs are not that strong. Uh, you know whose hugs might be strong, though, is Aya's. No, we they're so weak. Find her. They're so weak. <laughs> well, we should so... find her so you can give her a strong hug. Rajar grabs you on both shoulders and just holds you and stares deep into your eyes and goes, but they're so, they're so good. They're so good. Because they're I, so genuine. I will take your word for it, your highness. I want a mm -hmm. hug. You have bony shoulders. Iskan hugs Strigal. <laughs> Thank you. It feels like being hugged by a pipe cleaner. <laughs> Rachel slowly the fuzzy stands up. And she's not here. And she's not in the apothecary. And she's not in the bedroom. We need to check the kitchen again to see if she's feeding, uh, what was it, Ragnarok? Uh, yeah. Ragnarok's in the stables north, but... She, she might be getting food for him, though. Mm -hmm. We should check well, the if, food room. If the kitchen is on the way, we could probably check that first. Alright. He stands up and begins to make his way out. I, fr I fucked up. There is a door here. <laughs> ah, good. Ah, okay. Into the hall. Door! Okay. He added a door Just... here. <laughs> oh, yeah! Through the wall. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. Doors cannot wait, contain us. Door, wait. <laughs> to the. Wait, that's a. Do Every yeah. wall is a door if you try wait. hard enough, Bosco. We've gone over this. <laughs> so, wait, so is this a door? It is also a door up there. Oh, yeah, you there. guys would go through there. Yeah, yeah it's Two the kitchen. Doors. They're not going to the hallway. That's right. Uh, as you guys press through the main hall into the kitchen, you immediately startle the kitchen staff. Uh, who seem to be cleaning up after preparing their feast for you. You also see Adrian and his wife. Uh, who you had left at dinner, uh, seemingly finishing up their meal and kind of look towards you all. There is uh, no need to worry. We are searching for a princess that is at large, and if you do not help us, you will be complicit in her missing. Strigal, she's not that big. How we dare are... you! <laughs> <laughs> Someone's gonna die. <laughs> all of you are complacent. Yeah. Where's Aya? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Where's Aya? <laughs> yeah, Otho looks pleadingly at the other royals in the room. Roll a persuasion check, Otho. <laughs> Although, give him the upward cat eyes. 
Oh, yes, no. Mr. Seed Lolly. Yes, Mr. Seed Lolly. You should tell him what happens to animals. <laughs> what? <laughs> the then fuck then... does that mean? <laughs> Wait, sorry? Oh, that's an eight, by the way, on my persuasion. <laughs> oh, no. Prince Ajarod points towards the door to the south. And Rajar is like, oh, thanks. And unless anyone else goes out before him, he's going straight out that door into the into the well, oil. Well, we we wouldn't we wouldn't know the the yeah of course. I, I imagine yeah. I imagine Iskon and Stragal are trying to like shoulder, like assist in shoulder and like Rearjar walking, but he's actually just kind of holding us. <laughs> yeah, basically, like, yeah. If you've seen that that moment in um. Robin Hood Men in Tights, where Blinken is like trying to grab onto someone as they're walking past. That's Iskon first missing Rarejar, then missing Otho, and then grabbing onto Strigal's shoulder and being pulled behind. Strigal's gonna... desperately trying to sober up while eating crickets and whatever bread he finds in the kitchen. I'm just gonna say this Rarejar is not gonna gain the benefit of his fucking danger sense because he is <laughs> black right now. What? Sense more sense lives. All right. What is it's oil? You dropped a flask of oil, right? I sure did. I gotta see what the DC for that is. I want him to family yeah. guy fall into the training yard. <laughs> if he breaks his, <laughs> if he breaks his neck and dies, fall. it would be hilarious. Oh my god! <laughs> Just taken out by a flask of oil. Rajar just falls back and all, well, we lost. It's all fine. The warriors the in Harslan or one oily boy. The, in <laughs> the international incident about to be provoked can be dismantled if we just say it's a prank. It's, it's a, a prank, prank bro. bro. It's a prank. I, listen, this is just a social experiment. There's no listed amount. I'm gonna say it's a DC 13 because it's a flask of oil. All right. Um, he has no bonuses though, and he also has disadvantage because he's, he's drunk. Good. Yeah. So he's gonna roll a disadvantage. How much uh, oil is it? Do we all need to roll or just rare drugs? It's just him. Okay. Uh, and he, yeah, he hits the ground hard and immediately that ends the rare Gerard turn as he walks out the door, <laughs> takes go. one slap, flips onto his back and smashes into the ground, cratering some of the wood and actually breaking <laughs> some of the holding. Out of, out of total fear, Stragal is also going to mimic as though he slipped just so that he doesn't feel embarrassed <laughs> that he fell alone. And then you just hear Milo, as you see this happen, you just see Rarejur on the ground just going, Oh! I think we all heard that, I assume. Oh, everyone hears it, yeah. <laughs> the ground shakes. <laughs> Which means it is now Team A's turn as you hear this Let's noise go. outside. All right, your high, your highness. Do you but, need? Do, uh, where, where do you need to go next? I don't know. I need to read this somewhere oh, where can, I'm not going to be oh, disturbed. Oh, you, you, oh, you can still read it, but I need you to trust me on something here. Uh, he opens up the small box. Hold on to this. Um, she reaches and grabs it and immediately shrinks and goes, ah! like immediately I shocked. I, I grab her and like just Whoa. stuff her in my hair where the where the, it's the most wooliest. All right, we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Um, right. Did you just become the Krampus? Well, <laughs> while, while they're doing that, if if I may, um, see seeing this, I'll, I'll do a quick couple of knocks, but run over and just be like, oh, Bachelor, what happened? Are you yes. Aya screamed, and he grabs your head and is going to use you as leverage to get up, Milo. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, my God. No. Oh, my God. <laughs> where, where, where is Team Aya running to to get away from this? I'm, can move I'm going to, to one wall. area. Hmm, I'm going to the stables. I'm going to the fucking stables. They need to quiet, yeah? I'm going to say you get to about here as you're running across the field. Um, okay. That was movement uh does, did that give us extra movement because we have expedition yes. tree? can i okay good yeah um then while we're running uh we're around the corner milo you're trying to hold them off yeah yeah uh, i'm going to cast this guy's self on myself to look like okay. Mia <laughs> while i'm with him. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh no oh no <laughs> oh, I'm by myself in this. Let's yep. go. <laughs> I'm with you, but I look like Aya. <clears throat> oh, great. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this was your idea, Monty. Uh, no, this is this is great. I love this. <sighs> so, so I'm I'm gonna run over. Okay, so I'm being compressed into my armor like a turtle. I I understand. Yeah, yeah you're being used as like oh. a, a way to be hoisted up. 
Uh, the rest of you guys run, uh, and Kai, you disguise yourself as Aya. All right, it is right. Team Rare Gerard's turn. All right, Monty, mm-hmm. question. Yes. We're still drunk, correct? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> We're still drunk, right? <laughs> Second question. I, if, we, get everywhere. If, if I if Strigal casts Blur, can I create a <laughs> double negative effect to see straight? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. It'll only make things much God. worse. No more questions, Monty. <laughs> 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 double double vision is a kaleidoscope now. <laughs> Your However, eyes gain like fucking our... extra eyes like fucking Baxter. <laughs> Straw Baxter, fucking whatever his name is, Ninja Turtle. Uh, however, Ajar raises himself back up to his feet and wipes the oil off of his pants and then unscrunches your neck from your armor. Milo oh, just. God. <laughs> <laughs> you tiny little oh. glowy cute man. Yeah, that, that's that's me. Ow, my neck. Oh, oh crack, crack, crack. Uh, I heard a scream. Where is she? Oh, well, I, I I think she was, I don't know, she said something about trying to go to a hot springs just to kind of clear her head. Roll a deception check. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, Where you got the hot springs? You got this. Eight! Oh no, come on, you got him though. He's dumb. Uh, he's not dumb, he actually rolled higher. <laughs> oh. No, she screamed this way. Oh, sorry, I, I I guess I didn't hear it that well. I was, I was a bit scrunched in. Yeah, Otho, immediately suspicious of this, is going to continue further down the hallway. Yeah! He opens up the door to Erdan's room, and Erdan is like, for fuck's sake, get out of here! <laughs> hey! You hey, can't talk to the prince like that! He went that prince. way and points towards the arena, and he crosses his arms, kind of annoyed. <laughs> Bye, oh, Erdan! Bye, Erdan! Then. I've actually got an idea to help find A if, if, if you if you want to listen. Mr. Brightbeam. I <laughs> uh, honestly think that's going to work. Kai. I think it will. How, yes. how dark is it outside? It's there's light. There's like they have like lanterns and stuff, so you can see. But it is it is definitely you can see the form of Aya, but not like the face. Uh, I would like a deception check with advantage. Uh, from you, Kai. Oh, no. Uh... Come on, ma'am. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Twelve. Ooh. Oh. Okay, I rolled a 19. What the Ooh. fuck? And then I Minus rolled... five. <laughs> no, and then I rolled a four. Let's yeah, go. let's go. Too oh. bad. Too bad. He's got plus eight charisma. Hey, uh, he just stumbles forward and runs forward. Oh, hey, my money. Yeah. Can I can I react to this? Uh, it is now technically the A squad's turn. So may I? Yeah, go for it. Okay. Uh, make a check, buddy. <laughs> oh, uh, this is a wisdom saving throw. Is it for Rajar? It's for Rajar. Okay, wasn't saving throw. Because he is a big boy that you're gonna have to fat drag him. Cox. Uh, DC 15. I think he's gonna succeed. He rolled really, really well. Curses. I'm so sorry. Curses. Plus one. That's an 18. Ah, beans. Is that still with disadvantage? Oh wait, yeah, he has disadvantage. Hold on. Yeah, please. Mark. What? Uh, 15. 15. I did the homework. Uh, that that is the spell save DC. So he technically passes. I'm so sorry. Uh, 14, 14 plus one. Beats. Unfortunately, as you try and hold Perts in him, he just like waves the spell away behind him, like, go away. <laughs> <laughs> the spell manifests no. as, as a person. He just says, go away. <laughs> Cut it out. Uh, Gaius, Kai. Uh... Uh, he's focused on Kai, right? Oh, 100%. He just yeah, I'm, bu- I'm fucking booking it. I'm using a dash action and booking it. Where are you going? <laughs> Into the stables. Cool. Uh, Kai... Do we, all see, do we all see Gaius just run? Kai, yeah. Kai, no, you... you see me mirthful leap my way into the stables. <laughs> like the Hulk. Uh, hmm. Kai is going to use Expeditious Retreat, so he'll get to move a little bit faster, but he's going to motion for Rajar to follow him and go this way. 
Okay. Towards the servants' quarters. As you do so, Rajar turns and goes, No, hey, don't run. You'll get sick. <laughs> Can I get around the corner? <laughs> yeah. Is she allergic to sick? Run? I'm try to get here. No, she's got a baby. She's allergic to run. Wait, she's. <laughs> I, I, I didn't. She's uh, pregnant. Kai hey, was pregnant? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gentle god, you uh, idiot. Congratulations! <laughs> oh my yes, goodness! Congratulations! What? I is gonna start to slow up so that it, he, when, when Rajar does that, it'll look like A is slowing down because she realizes, oh right, I shouldn't run. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna I'm a be selfish a dad. dick! Gosh, it. Let's go, magic! That's the turn! Wait, we should, we should have a toast. <laughs> yeah, what I think, I think. I think another round I of think drinks would serve us well. I think well, we've had quite enough something. for this evening. Maybe we should... You're not no. even drunk. No Prince more drinking. Pregnant. There's Maybe two should... babies now? <laughs> oh my god. I'm so proud of you. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna Maybe die. you should work off the first round before Remember to keep an eggshell from the birth. It's good luck. Wait, you don't have those. What? <laughs> Wait, they don't have eggshells? Uh, no, I... Then how do we eat the eggs? I don't think... What? what Which turn are we check? on? <laughs> <laughs> no. it, is I... team, it is Team Rajar's turn. Oh uh, I would like another what? deception from Kai, please. Who the fuck is on first? <laughs> so, no. So, that's a 21. Oh. <laughs> 21 funny number. All right. Very convincing performance. Am I... I'm am I rolling... Performer. Are we rolling insight for this? That would be insight, yeah. Alrighty, hang on. Let oh, we got here. this. Because because we just, to break down what we just saw, we just saw Milo run up to the enemy team after yeah. an oil slick trap. We saw <laughs> Aya dart off in a different direction, and we saw <laughs> Gaius book it to the stables. <laughs> <laughs> so Otho definitely smells some shit here. Well, yeah, we're really close to the stables. Yeah, the stables are right there. Yeah, man. Oh I've got God. I've got another funny idea as soon as I get the chance. <laughs> Welcome All back, right. everyone. Welcome back. For real. The best what way a, to come back. <clears throat> what a rip snorting uh -oh. good time. Hi. Oh, oh. That I is would a like 21. To <laughs> oh, if it beats, it beats. Uh, Otho, you get the sense that that Aya is not really Aya. However, Rare Gerard is not very smart and is also <laughs> very drunk. Just kayaks. Uh, Kai accidentally Naruto oh, ran, and it's like, I know who that is. <laughs> uh, however... The brothers roll the exact same. That's so poetic. That's so good. Uh, I would like a competing athletics check, however, uh, Kai. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> right here in the hallway. <laughs> uh, do I have advantage against him? No. You're about to get Does he have disadvantage against suplex. me? He has disadvantage, yes. I'll take it. Oh, God, I need some help. I mean, it's still plus 12. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, you are running, and then suddenly your feet are not on the ground anymore, as you are being held by your waist in the air and are flipped around to face Rajarar as he just, like, looks at you and goes, What's going on? Why are you running? You should be careful. You can't, you can't, you, you can't manhandle a pregnant person. Are you pregnant? You told me that's impossible. God, you fucking loving right smile. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? Are you mad at me? Uh, Kai is going to shake his head no and gently caress his chin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, Ooh. seeing seeing this display, <laughs> uh, Otho is absolutely going to try and keep up with Gaius because okay, you got it. Splitting off. Yeah. What? Where oh, are we going? There I am. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Otho, for what I'm about to do. Oh no! Is it is okay. it team, is it Team A a turn? <laughs> Uh, I would say at this point, uh, Eskan and Sergal, you are drunk. What are you doing? We uh, we we did it, Rajar. We, we found your beloved wife, and I admit, I say, I I am so happy that you are pregnant, <laughs> Lady Aya. <laughs> <I>, uh, <laughs> congr congratulations! 
That's impossible, though. You said your god said you can't do it anymore. How are you pregnant? That's really mean. Uh, it's rather personal information. Maybe we shouldn't be talking about this aloud in the servants' quarters? Yeah, you two leave. <laughs> I'm going to talk to my wife about this. It's very personal. Go ahead. Yeah, that okay. makes sense. Uh, let's go bother some. Let's go bother this corner. Wait, I saw a goat go in the stables. Oh, Gaius? Where is he? All right. In the stables. Princess Aya turn. Milo, what are you doing? Are we are we actually like 20 feet some odd apart and whatnot here? It's, no, it's it's just a gentle approximation. All right. I'm going to go I here. A more, more aggressive approximation. All right. Everyone, everyone on Team Drunk that, that is an Otho, guess what? Make deck saves. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> on it. <laughs> <laughs> DC With fifteen disadvantage. Wait. There's a four. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Why? Are, what, what? I'm confused. Milo just lit you all on fire. Hold on. <laughs> no, no, you it's just can't turn invisible. You have extra it's eleven both nope. ways. Uh, Kai, go ahead and roll with advantage. Uh, wait, what? Because Rojar is going to protect you from the spell. <laughs> oh. Yay! I get a deck save with advantage. Yo, yo, Grace, the fairies, they're attacking! It's a 17, I beat it. Fuck Ooh. you, fairies! Fuck my wife. I'm immediately, I'm immediately gonna fairies. run back and hide. <laughs> oh no, Strigal, they got you. All right, meanwhile in the stables, Gaius, <laughs> you get a good it's distance inside. Clown, I just see lights and screaming behind me, just like, <laughs> what is happening back Oh, oh goodness, there seems to be a panic at the disco. <laughs> uh, Gaius, as you run inside, eventually, it's like, oh, can you put me down? I think I'm going to be sick. Uh, uh, <gasps> is there a location that I can, like, put her down that she's out of sight, like behind like a really high stack of hay barrels or whatever. Oh, yeah, there's like a chunk of hay that you can go inside of. I, 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 I cup her in my hand. I put her down next to it and I, I put the box in front of her so she could put the key down into it. She does. She kind of like drops it like something hot, like she doesn't understand it. Then she becomes large and she goes, oh, Drop that's like very weird. <laughs> Understandable. <sighs> But one moment, please. That you can do your reading if you do so. I kind of just like turn around the corner and I look at like the nearest animal and I start like uh like just observing it. Okay. You see a Delvarian boar that's behind like a like a cage currently eating what looks to be some sort of root vegetable pile. Okay, so I want my body to be in a way such that even if Otho was to turn the corner and find me, it's like obscuring uh Aya. Okay. <laughs> I'll say you give advantage to Aya on her stealth check against Otho. Good, good, good. That? Fair enough, fair All enough. Right. So, Otho, you walk in on Gaius, like, observing a boar. Well, well, he's chasing stables. after you, so it's not his turn yet. We'll get we'll get to that on his turn. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, so I, I'm just going to end my turn observing a boar. Okay, you got it. Uh, Aya's going to roll a research check. Observe. Okay, pretty decent. <clears throat> you can hear her flipping through the pages of the book that she was looking through initially. Okay. I'm going to that assume that Rationarar is not going to remember any of this by tomorrow morning. You're going to hope. <laughs> <laughs> I hope to God the case. Uh, how I, as Rationarar has, like, protected you from the fairy fire and whatnot, uh, assuming that is the end of the Aya turn, he does look down to you and he goes, Are you okay? Kai's going to nod yes. What's wrong? Why are you being so sheepish? Kai's going to kind of lower his head and he's going to take his left hand and rub his right hand like he's kind of timid. <laughs> and then motion for Rajar to follow him to go somewhere private. Bro. Oh. Bro. <laughs> Bro, you are in dangerous waters now. <laughs> I know! <laughs> Quick! <laughs> fetch the... Fetch Listen. the... Cast iron! It's the only thing that'll defeat the fairies! Where do they- is that in the- would that be in the kitchen? Kai I is going know. for- I know, help us! Kai is going for the scholarship at Princess Keepaway. <laughs> <laughs> I think, uh, me and- I, I will represent myself in Stragall, I guess. <laughs> 
Look, oh man, I'm God. buying guys as much time as I can. It's up to you to take care of Otho, all right? The Valentine Milo! Milo the fairies attacked us! <laughs> well, fight back! <laughs> You're right. We should we should fight back. Where are the fairies? They're right just behind guide, you! Guiding I'm gonna turn around <laughs> and just I'm just gonna fire <laughs> I'm just gonna fire an ice knife. <laughs> oh god, okay. At who? Uh, basically, just in the just in this direction okay. until it hits. Somebody. I want you to roll two d twenty with disadvantage. So roll with your spell attack bonus. You're you're behind you. <laughs> There's a DUI joke doors. in here somewhere. Uh, so uh, eleven plus. 11 what's your spell attack bonus? Ba, 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 ba. Spell attack bonus is six, so that's a seventeen. <laughs> Kill the boar or something. Oh my god. Damage! What did you do? <laughs> what the fuck? Random <laughs> patrolman Joe just got fucking obliterated. Somebody just got obliterated. What if you just. Oh, wait, if you, ignore that. What if yeah, you just yeah. kill, flat out kill, like a lurking assassin? <laughs> it's seven piercing and nine cold. <laughs> the princess pregnant wife, no! <laughs> god. She's allergic okay. to one. Have mercy. Revenant. She's allergic to death. By the way, who's been watching this entire thing? He's refereeing. Uh, you hit Redman point blank in the chest. Oh my god! Oh my god! You perfectly chiseled muscles. You just hear him go home <laughs> as he keels over and falls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is he like? Oh is he we're, like we're behind going to something? Prison. Like, do we see that it's him who got hit? Yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, he's, got, like, well, he's got like the Triple H Frostburns Chagall. on his chest. <laughs> Chagall Redman was a fairy. No! <laughs> We're go we are going to the fucking prison. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I, I thought that's good for you if he's a fairy. I think he's a spy. Stud down, call 911. Oh, God. What the fuck? He says in the darkness. <laughs> we should, we should, we should go. Uh, we have to, we have to detain him as a prisoner of war. Redmond, it's not too late to change allegiances. You don't have to side with the fairies. I was gonna... on anyone's fucking side. I was just helping. We'll head towards wherever Redmond is down. Yeah, he's in the, he's in the dying in the middle. I'm fucking. Otho just, Otho just looks over his shoulder briefly. <laughs> What are they doing out there? Meanwhile, Otho, you run into the arena. <sighs> the arena? Stragni. Yeah, arena Dude. slash t stables. Yeah. yeah. Guys, just turn his head over. Hello. Taking a sudden interest in animals, I see. I mean, I have my. We have the stables at home. Yes, a very sudden interest in the middle of this game that we're playing. Eh. Just shrugs. <laughs> right. Uh, I'm going to shift. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. You shift into your wear tiger form. If if we're playing dirty, then I'm going to shift into my wear tiger form. Oh, here okay, we go. reaction stone. <laughs> oh, 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 oh my god. Get him, guys. Re reaction stone rune. <laughs> Get slept forehead. That's, I believe, a wisdom saving throw, correct? We yeah, sure is. Save. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my wisdom is crap. But, uh, <laughs> Mark, I like that Eastcon and Stragall still don't know that there's actually a game being played. <laughs> yeah, we have no clue. <laughs> no, idea. no idea. They're just out trying to kill Redman. <laughs> oh. The fairies attacked us, dude. Ooh. 15? By one, you succeed. Oh! oh. Otho's rolling hot right now. Otho just sort of like <laughs> like grips his head and shakes the sleepiness out of his eyes. Uh, I see. Hmm. There must be something here you really don't want me to find. Reaction, do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Is this really gonna happen? <laughs> yes. I love it. Hey, oh, that didn't work. Do it again. I, we are not I... doing rounds, so every every back and forth is like a chunk of time. So technically he can do that. <laughs> That's also, amazing. Let's go. He can only act. Can, can he only activate his specific rooms once? Nope, two times. <sighs> oh, here we go. 
I see. The odds are in your favor, please. I, I, I can I can use a mix and match of bolts so long as I have my so resources. I just, so I just can't do anything before you get this off again. Oh, well, I'll let you do something if you want. Like, I have to do it on reaction, so whatever action you yeah, take, Yeah, so whatever I you're about right, to do, he can so react I'm, to. All right, so I'm going to, yeah, I guess I'll try and find AL, do a perception check. Yep, you got you it. Are allowed, you are allowed to do that, but then afterwards I get the proc it again. <laughs> All right, so uh, because own. because I'm a wild hunt shifter, I do have an advantage on this. So... Yep. Yep. Uh, well, it's a good thing because oh, the first one was a that's... natural one. Ooh. You got to roll it again. Does it stick? Oh, oh. And the second one is a seven. Let's All go. Right. Hold on, Aya has to roll stealth. And, and she has advantage, yeah? She has advantage. Oh, yeah, she does. She hit her. But her. She has no pluses to this. I shit you not, you literally, she rolled a seven with no bonuses. <laughs> so if it needs rolled, to be! So... She rolled a four and a seven, and sure enough, you hear in the pile of hay the sound of a book flipping. Oh, those glasses just <laughs> gleam off of the sunlight. Aha. Uh -huh. And then you and then your stone room. Room. You're rude. <laughs> yeah. stone room. You need the low roll. Funk. <laughs> so this Please, is a, motherfucker. This is a uh it is wisdom a, saving throw. Uh, oh no. Yep. My wisdom save is zero, so let's see here. Uh doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, oh my god, oh, the same roll! 15 again. The exact same Unfucking fucking roll. Real. Holy shit. So unfortunately okay. you do manage to resist. Okay, no, I have I have a free action idea. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have a free action idea. I'm here for I, it. Hmm. Hang on. I don't tell me I got rid of it. Don't do don't do this to me, game. Uh, I, I I want you to imagine Gaius looking at Otho with a massive Joey Wheeler grin. <laughs> <laughs> you may have found her, but you're not Rajrar. The game is still afoot. That much is true. Go on. Fetch him. Alright, that ends the rare our turn. That brings us now to the Aya turn. Uh, uh sorry, I'll go we'll start with Milo first, I suppose. Milo. Okay, seeing seeing that our our golden goose is in trouble, I'm going to run into the stables. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do I get an attack of opportunity? I'm just. <laughs> no. I mean, technically. <laughs> Although I know, I, I know, I know, Otho was in there, so I'm not going to go like clank, 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 clank up in it. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try and see if I can see him. All right, you make your way inside. That is your turn. Uh, all right. Who else do we have on Team Aya? Uh, Aya oh, is going to make her check because she's trying to fucking study so hard. <laughs> Finish Aya, please. I like to imagine while like fucking Gaius and Otho are like slap fighting in the background, yeah. Aya's in the foreground, just like, <laughs> like trying to read. I, I want to. Pretty consistently good at like being oh, nose shit. deep in research while madness is going on behind her. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> I want to imagine that we're like picking her up Mario 2 style. Uh oh my god, that's a good reference. Uh Gaius and Otho and even Milo as you kind of make your way in, you do hear from a haystack go a, a voice go, "I found it." Just excitedly. <laughs> oh, thank his ears Christ. just his ears just flick and his eyes dart over to the <laughs> <door."> <laughs> As you do that, she leans out of the haystack. She goes, "Oh, right, your game. Sorry." Meanwhile, no, Gaius remain Gaius remains ever stalwart in the Joey Wheeler face. <laughs> uh, Kai, what are you yeah, doing? I question between the area that we are and where the hot springs are. Is that just like open area that we can walk? 
That is open field, yeah. God, Kai is going to try to lead Rajar in that direction back towards their bedroom. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Boy, if he finds out. I'm trying so hard to buy you time. <laughs> we found out. Oh, yes, we did. We found out. <laughs> How long does that spell last? Uh, an hour, so I'm fine. Uh, as you're walking, Rarcher kind of slows down and goes, Hey, uh, stop. I'm <laughs> strong. Why aren't you talking to me? Are you, still gonna, like, mad? Like... Are you still mad that I drowned Kai? <laughs> Kai is going to lower his head and kind of shake his head yes a little bit. I told you they have to learn how to be stronger and they're not going to learn if I go easy on them. Kai's going to like bap him on the chest like he's seen Aya do and give him a stern look. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't like the silent treatment. It makes me feel inadequate and sad. <laughs> Aww, Kai's going to hug him. I don't like psychological warfare. My axe doesn't do good there. <laughs> hmm. Psychological warfare. I have a funny question, Moni. Yeah? When Kai goes in for the hug, does he recognize it as Aya's hug? He reaches down and pats your head and goes, Why does your hair have so much volume? <laughs> <laughs> Roll the interrogation. Just figure that out while he's drunk, that's insane. <laughs> do I still have advantage? Cute. Cue the interrogation uh, scene from Metal Gear no, Solid 3. Because his hand is You're not your right, Kov. So. Oh, God. Wait a minute. <laughs> your cowlick naturally goes to the left. Who are you? Oh, I really need this to be a good roll. And it wasn't. Oh, lordy, lordy. I'm going to die. I'm oh, going to die. I did everything I could to win, but it, as long as we win, it's worth it. How many rounds does this go? He, he's uh, he's rolling con saves to see how long and it, keep, it keeps increasing. Oh. Yeah. There he has to pass out. He has to pass out and he's he's gotten close a couple times. He's still going. Out. He he kind of like squishes your head to a point where it's like too much, but he's not hurting you. It's just kind of like mm. Wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> and now we're going to keep walking. He stops you. Yeah. I don't feel very good. I'm gonna sit down. He sits down. Hey, <laughs> oh. hey, uh, is gonna help him sit down. Okay. I was, I was waiting for this motherfucker to say the ring is still in your. Uh, can I put a like a hand to his forehead to check his temperature? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Kai is gonna check. Aya is gonna check his forehead. Uh, and then kind of look at him like he's a little bit worried and tell him to wait one second while she goes to get something and try to go around the corner. His temperature uh, is drunk. I would like another competing athletics check because he's going to try and stop you again. Uh, All right. <laughs> Got you in that bear hug. No. No. Ooh. Ooh. Natural. Oh. oh, that's acrobatics. Oh, I rolled the wrong thing. It's, you said athletics. It's athletics, yeah. You're All right. Well, thing. this should be better. So another natural nope, one. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> you get like two steps away and he grabs your hand and he goes, don't leave me again, please. Okay, Kai will smile and stay with him. Okay. <laughs> you sit down next to him. I'll sit. All right. That ends the A turn. Here we turn. go. It's still working, Wait. though. Rare's turn. Team Drunk, how you doing? <laughs> I mean, I've I've located the princess. <laughs> oh, you have. That's the only job you had to do. Quick, wait. Iskan, find the massaging oil. I need to fix this. Uh, wait, <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. Do you? <gasps> wait, don't die yet. Hold on. Do you? I'm alive. You fine. <laughs> I just got hit. Fucking hurt. Ah. Are you sure you're not a fairy? What? <laughs> say something only a non fairy would them. say. Um, I love woodwork woodworking. I don't. Fairies <laughs> like the woods. That's not. He's a fairy. Son of a bitch. Um, <laughs> fucking. Oh boy, I I love drinking beer. Fairies also enjoy libations. You're a fairy. 
<laughs> He's got new changes. How did you see through his disguise? I, I, my, my mind is like a steel box. Milo, smart. help me! <laughs> Milo, we found a fairy. He tried to attack us. <laughs> You Stigal. attacked me! What do you Stigal. mean? You know, my Stigal. fey ancestry would absolutely fucking be screaming right now. Stigal. Oh, so. <laughs> if you if you think you can change him, I'll I'll fix him. But you have to promise. What? Anything, my friend. Okay. And I'm gonna do uh, cure wounds on him. Okay. Uh, I will upcast it at second level. Oh. You got it. Because I, I, I did get him pretty good. <laughs> you got him really bad, yeah. <laughs> and plus it was cold damage, which they're not used to here either. Ooh. Okay. Uh, he'll get oh, 11 nice. HP back. 13, actually. So oh, yes, 13. Nice. Yeah. He patches up and he goes, thank you, Iskin. I'm not a fairy, but thank you. That he doesn't like know he's a fairy. fairy. I, <laughs> oh, maybe he doesn't know. <laughs> guys are, he grabs fairy. both of you by like kind of the, the neck and the shoulder area. Like the both of you shakes you and kind of grips on because you guys are so fucking drunk. He's trying to kill us, Milo. <laughs> <laughs> Milo, run! save yourself. <laughs> Meanwhile, Go Otho, on. what are you doing? Go on, Otho. Mm. Get your get, 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 Go on, Otho. <laughs> Get the ball so we can finish the game. If you insist. Great gods, Princess Aya, are you hurt? I'm grabbing Aya <laughs> and I'm running out. Okay, you got it. Can Aya I... is like the middle of the reading and she goes, no! And the book drops on the ground. Oh, oh. As you run out. Do I see run this money? <clears throat> oh yeah, you can join them if you want. Okay, so uh hey Otho. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, roll another 15 there, bud. <laughs> oh no! Oh god. Here we go again. <laughs> because because my my glowy my glowy strategy is completely falling apart. <laughs> I mean two of You've us. You've done are everything still else that you can't. If he rolls another 15, I might just flip a table. Oh, uh, that's a two. Oh that's no! Cool. You're there down for, you are down for a minute. <laughs> um Monty, I want to run and grab the book and then chase them back out because I I saw that scuffle. You got it for sure. You so grab the grabby book. and then and then wherever I can go as far as I can I'm go. Run. Yeah, I'll say you're still there because you grabbed the book. Technically. Okay. Ooh. Sorry. So yeah. All right. That brings us to Rajar's turn. One second. I'm just gonna roll for him. Okay. Oh my god. Kai, as awake. you're. As you're sitting there, he stops glowing and he looks at himself and goes, well, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> Good, goodbye. Uh, oh, however, Kai, as Rajar Kai looks over towards you, still no, not uh, still not understanding that you're not Aya, he kind of looks over and gently grabs your hand and goes, Aya, you don't have to lie to people, you know. Aya will cock her head as if to say what? Pardon? It's okay, we can't have a baby, okay? It's okay. I knew that when I married you. It's fine. Aww. I love you. Aww. Okay? Aww. So don't go lying to these foreigners to make them feel better about whatever the fuck it is <clears throat> they care about, okay? It's gonna be okay. Once they leave. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. And he leans his head back and he seems to be gone. <laughs> Yay! Oh, Lord. However, as far as everyone else is concerned, the game's still on. <laughs> we don't the know. Foot is still a game. E scan and uh <laughs> Strigal. You watch as you guys are no longer glowing anymore. Oh, <gasps> The fairy curse. So Does that mean that we won? <laughs> Ryusha, I would suggest, as he's holding us still, I would suggest you give up now. Your reinforcements have fled. What? <laughs> you heard him. We have you surrounded. There's only two of you. That's more than you. That's fair. <laughs> I dare you to hold me closer. Check out. <laughs> roll, an, roll an 
intimidation check, Stragal. <laughs> I dare you to hold me close. <laughs> I challenge you to love and cherish me. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh three. More Redman to Mortal walk, Kombat. Redman walks over and kind of shoulders you and goes, all right, buddy, I think that's enough for the night. Hey. <laughs> what? <laughs> God. God, it's so great. As oh, Strange God. fall onto the floor, confused, and let his drunken exhaustion take him. <laughs> Aya, as she's running with the rest of you, Aya kind of starts panting. He goes, Stop! Stop! We need to stop! I, I do so. I do so. I do so. I do so. She kind of starts to heavily breathe and then, like, kind of staggers a little bit and then sits down on the ground. I'm sorry. I'm not so good at the running thing. <sighs> eventually, Otho, you feel yourself all paralyzed, but eventually shake off the paralysis. I am not there. <laughs> I am not there. <laughs> I didn't do it. Uh, <clears throat> I'd like to at least get her to a guest room so she can sit down. Okay, you just take her over and she sits down at sort of like the, the you know, it's like a uh, breezeway, like a walkway. You just kind of sit her down. She, she sits down and she kind of waves. She goes, I'm fine, I'm fine. Sorry, I just, running is not exactly something I've been very good at, even at oh. a young age. Oh. Uh, sorry about the book. Here you go. You oh, did find it, though. You. you did explain <clears throat> that. I did. <laughs> sorry, I, I didn't mean to make your game so complicated, but I really wanted to look into this. No, There's... this was. I, 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 I have a feeling I've broken friendships tonight. Hey, what's a few uh, explosions of ice in the stomach between friends? Uh, he kind of like <laughs> baps you on the back and kind of like staggers forward. All right, boys, let's go carry the man to his bed, shall we? Okay, Gaius, 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 like shakingly turns his head to the bar, to the stable, <laughs> waiting for the fucking. <laughs> the man tiger to step out, you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> you as you as you turn in that direction, you'll see Iskan as I imagine somebody's trying to help uh Stragal off the field. Uh <laughs> Iskan just shouts, You'll never take me alive! And he's gonna dash into the stables. <laughs> okay. He's gonna hide <laughs> behind one of the uh the boars. Okay. And eventually just fall asleep next to it. <laughs> okay. We're, we'll see the aftermath of that in the morning. <laughs> oh, Fu just watches Eastgan run right by him. <laughs> Last time it's like, oh no, not again. It's literally like, you'll never take me alive! Hi, Otho. No, no, <laughs> um, Mr. C no, seriously, what did I miss? Go away, I'm hiding. <laughs> <laughs> As you wish. And he's yes. gonna, yeah, he's just gonna wander out. Hmm. I believe the game's over. I think so as well. <sighs> Where's Rajar? Is he okay? Turns the corner. Uh, so Kai would, at, at some point when Rajar falls asleep, like to sneak into a guest room so he can change back <clears throat> and not be right next to him when they find him. Fair enough. You sneak off and you DA -A yourself. <laughs> DA. Commit to the bit, motherfucker. Spray on some AI. <laughs> and he's going to stay in that guest room for a little bit until they find Razor R, because he needs a minute after all that. Yeah, you hear the sound of the lads. I'm just going to refer to them as the boys. Uh, collect go. their drunken friend. And you can actually hear because <clears throat> Rajar's bed chambers are like across from the guest rooms. And they you can just hear the struggle of like five dude bros just like. Rolling Katamari yeah. style, his <laughs> unconscious. <laughs> Very Gaius feels bad. He's gonna, the room. Gaius feels bad. He's gonna like just go over in giant form and help them out. Sure enough, yeah. The bedroom is quite nice. It's got a lot of furs everywhere. Uh, there's a very nice fireplace. Uh, and a very large bed. And sure enough, you guys, with 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 shared effort, uh, you managed to place the man into the bedroom with a decanter of water, and he just just he's gone. He is... Make sure to lay him on his side. Yeah, he's on his he's on his side. Like, now, what's 
this about the Fey? Gaius like arches his eyebrow <laughs> up like what? <laughs> Milo yeah. pokes Milo pokes his fingers together and slowly moves off frame. <laughs> were you were you cursing me out? <laughs> Eggman from no. the Fandos. <clears throat> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. The C's part is Aya enters the room and she actually gently puts a blanket over top of Bergerar and kind of, Aww. you know, adjusts Aww. him slightly and, you know, gives him a little yeah, kiss yeah. on the cheek. And she kind of turns and goes, okay, now all of you out. You've had your fun. All right. Let, let's go, guys. The rest of you, I would like to see you in the morning in the apothecary. And she holds up the book. Thumbs yeah. up. <clears throat> Have a good night. You as well. And she <clears throat> closes the door. Immediately the moment the door is closed, you watch as all the berserkers and Redmond begin exchanging axes. Yeah. And you see some guys going, oh, fuck. And they hand off an axe and another guy's like, hell yeah, <laughs> cool axe. Ah, <laughs> It I seems as though the prize is that there is an axe that people bet on, and whoever wins gets the axe, gets to use the nice axe. For oh, a while. we didn't, axe. we didn't bet on any axes. No nice axes. <laughs> it's okay, oh. Milo. the The real important thing here is that we won the competition. I feel kind of bad, though. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, come now, it's fun, says Redmond as he smiles and twitches because he's still <laughs> nursing his a ice bit. burns. <laughs> it's fun. I, it's, I, I, I don't know. I, I had to paralyze a friend. I, I'm, I'm, I made Dragonair fall. I, I feel kind of bad. Yeah, but it was fun, oh, that, wasn't it? Oh, it does. This feels exactly like how I used to fight with my cousins. <clears throat> you learn so, a lot about your friends when you have to compete against each other in a game. So, is he going to remember all that stuff that happened tonight? Does Probably he use not. He okay, good. Doesn't usually know. I wondered how he'd been able to get away with this for so long if he doesn't. Oh, I I've done this for like fifty years. It's one of my favorite 50 games. Fifty years. Yeah, the previous king, his uh late wife, she and I were thick as thieves, and it was our favorite game to play on him. Alright. Bit of a tradition, as it were. Miles just a little perturbed at thinking about 50 years of this tomfoolery. <laughs> Fun needs to be dispersed yeah. somehow. Yeah. We don't always want to have to kill each other, you know? Sometimes a little bit of uh, fun at the expense of one isn't so bad. Besides, it's harmless. Wait, Pretty fine. Wh where's Plus, everyone else at? Yeah. Well, there's Strigal. Are you with the group, do you think? No, Strigal is, like, face down in the trenches <laughs> trying to hide from fairies <laughs> outside somewhere. Sorry, my didn't mean to interrupt. I'm just like, wait a minute. <laughs> Where is everybody? Eastcan's hanging out with the boar. Yeah, uh, Strigal is stables. Strigal is in question mark land. And everybody else is sober <clears throat> and seems to be all together. Uh, not Otho. Where's Otho? Uh, Otho snuck off to the training grounds, and he's going to try and locate the barrel with his stuff in it. Oh! Okay, go ahead and roll an investigation check. <clears throat> There's gonna be an investigation! Give it's me just a second, I need a lozenge really bad. Yeah, yeah, go for it. A lozenge. Uh, it's pronounced lozenge. What is with the 15s today? You what the yeah, hell? Seriously, no <laughs> consistent. Uh, that is a 17. Okay. Sure enough, you kind of look through some some places, and sure enough, you find the storage room, and inside you do find your stuff in the chest. Uh, I'm going to locate my thieves' tools, and I'm going to pluck those out of them. Okay. And then I'm going to casually rejoin my group. You got it. I I I want to uh, find Strigal. Okay, he's face down in the dirt in front of the arena, mm -hmm. hiding for fairies. I see this, yes. <clears throat> yes. It's not, he's not very good at hiding. <laughs> Gaius, like, lifts up his hoof and kind of, like, bumps him in the side with it. Uh, oh, hello, guys. I take it the attack is over? 
Do I know if you speak Sylvan? Uh, do, 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 do I even speak Sylvan? <clears throat> Does do Zane I know, know if, if I speak Sylvan? Yeah. Uh, no, you've seen him speak Giant and Elven, as well as Draconic. Let me let me double check something real quick because it depends on what I. You no, know, I do know Sylvan. Fantastic. Joey Wheeler face. <laughs> kneels down, leans in close, <clears throat> and whispers in his ear in Fay. I'm not, I'm not gonna look at the translator right now. The fight's not over yet. <laughs> <laughs> no! You've joined them too! I am one, dumbass. What? Uh, I'm but, Faye. Well, sure, but they're, they're, it, it, you, I don't think you're the Faye who attacked us. I. Wait, are you? What is going on? I'm very confused. <laughs> I just pick him up by the back of the fucking armor and I just drag him back to the group. Uh, <laughs> say, uh, Gaius? Yes. Hey, you think I'm you think I'm destined to be alone? Oh. <laughs> no. No one's destined to be alone. That's a you problem. If you deem it, then you'll do it. Maybe you're right. I just see what Ria Gerard and Aya have, and I am happy for them, but I do long for having that again. Then why not just stand back up and find it again? I, I, maybe if it were so easy, but guys I don't just, know. I think I need guys, to go to bed. Guys just looks left and right and like pats him on the shoulder. Dragal, it is. It just depends on you making it happen. Uh, maybe I'll think about this when I'm sober. As he's just being dragged, uh, he's just going to take some some crickets and start eating. Uh, for now, drag me to my room. <laughs> <laughs> just giants <laughs> might lurch him over. So unless oh, anyone no. protests, all of you make your way into the guest rooms. Except for Iskan, who sleeps <sighs> in a bale of hay for the night. Hell yeah. And I would like all you guys to mark off that you get in the long rest. Yay. And that's where we will take our break. Da -da -da. Uh, that was fun. That was, that was cute. Guys, that was funny. Oh, what a comeback. <clears throat> what a night. Oh, what a night. What have Both I just done? gets assaulted by his... <laughs> Both of the magic casters just... <laughs> also, I've been waiting a month and a half to tell you this. Welcome into the Bosco show, nerd! Oh. I'm gonna nice. go stretch. And you, broke, and you broke up during that whole announcement. Of course I did. Classic yeah. Bosco halftime maneuver. Classic Bosco halftime show. Yelling the halftime into show is back. <laughs> oh. Why did you choose a sock? That, because this I is like always the halftime show. So, so listen, I'm, I am now in the, I am now in the chat, and I love how everyone's just like, that was both comforting and hurtful from Gaius to say, and I'm just like, bro, it's like. What do you tell your friend in that situation? Like, yeah, it's gonna suck now, but only you can pick yourself back up fully. Mm -hmm. Only you can prevent lifelong loneliness. Right. How far was Kai willing to go? Don't ask me that question. I'm very competitive. Uh, Phil Lane, thank you for the 100 bits. Beach Cowboy, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Get some poutine bosco while you're in Canada. I had some. It's very good. It was very tasty. Mm, yes. Burnout Vaughn, thank you for the tier one sub. Sub Bosco, after three Ooh. months, I'm clear to return to work after three plus months. Well, hey. good luck back at work and congratulations, I think. Oh, yeah. Mikan Pachi with 100 bits. So I already got Mark and Gaijin's answer. How would Kai, Stragal, Gaius, and Otho react to trick or treating? I mean, Kai would have a blast. Give me my fucking candy. Yeah, seriously. Just like, just holds Ooh. up a fist like, like that fucking uh, t pop team epic. Where's my candy? <laughs> the big fist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give him the big fist. Uh, I'm fairly certain Stragal would do his best to make sure as many of the evil spirits are warded off, and like being overly prepared for something that's definitely not gonna happen with like jack o' lanterns you, and stuff. You are the fucking. You are the mom who checks the candy for drugs. Yes. 
Oh yeah. And, <laughs> and specifically ghosts. Drugs and ghosts. Yep. The Both fatal the fatal mixture. Right. Both was rich, so he's giving out the full size candy bars. They do say you're not supposed to mix spirits and drugs. They, there's a lot of things that you really <clears throat> Brawl Kaiser, thank you for the 100 bits. Glad to have the Bosco Halftime Show back. And might I say, Ed, you played an amazing Courage the Cowardly Dog. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. That was a lot of fun. Also, Zan, I'm eating the Pop-Tart. Did you Pop warm it up? Oh, nice. No. <sighs> All right. Monty, That's fine. what kind of flavor Pop-Tart is it? Sorry, Zan I have to get out of drunk mode. Zan, Zan brought the brown sugar cinnamon pop yes! tart that Connor has been has been promoting. Correction, I smuggled in sixty four. <laughs> you smuggled in way too many. <laughs> like, warm, warm, my carry on was just full of pop tarts. Okay, warm or cold are both viable options for yeah, for, for brown that. sugar. Absolutely, yeah, yeah for brown absolutely. sugar for sure. Well, Some flavors Minmo. you do not want to Minmo. try cold. Minmo! Minmo! Minmo's Minmo! Here. I have to see Minmo. Minmo on the half Minmo. Minmo. Let's go. Minmo, Minmo let me live. Minmo is 70 years old in hamster years, Jesus. by the way. Oh, it's man. One year. Probably, probably older than that, because he's... I got him when he was an adult. But he's currently... He seems to be stuffing his face with, with, with seeds, so... I Minmo fucking is here. love Potart. Uh, <laughs> bro, big same. He's like me for real, for real right now. Real quick, like I am I am back, but I have Apple and will need to throw Core away, so I will hide from Crunch. Blackwood Fair, thank you for the that was a sentence. 420 bits, Faerun crossover episode. I'm the, I'm here for it. <laughs> no! Bubba Bob, thank you for the 500 bits. I don't care if this doesn't get used, but I wanted to drop this title suggestion. Your wife is in another castle. Bonnie, are you okay? I dropped my pop chart on the floor. How did you? Oh! Okay. Pop tart well, Mon Monty, I gave you I gave you the fucking benefit of the doubt that warm or cold was not a party foul, and yet somehow you fucking party fouled the Pop Tart. I'm hey, sorry. Wait, wait, wait. There's good news. There's Listen. still 63 other Pop Tarts. Hot damn. It's the five second rule. Don't worry about it. That's a good way to get botulism. I'm getting botulism then. <laughs> Black and sugar. Wing, botulism. Dude, twenty bar dude. Comes Getting getting a two pack of these pop tarts here is like seven dollars. A two I will pack? Risk, yeah, there's like an international like snack food store we have here, and they charge seven dollars for two pop tarts of the brown sugar. That's cinnamon. depressing. Fuck. Fucking, that yeah. is incredibly depressing. That's highway robbery. It is highway robbery, which is why I'm glad Zan brought like a bunch of them. Though, granted, I had to split them amongst the other Canadians. Put it so. on your throne, Monty. <laughs> Make people I'm dead. I shit. am dead ass. Maybe I will. I got Dunkaroo. I got 64 fucking things of Pop Dunkaroos. Dude, Pop Tart Depression's here in chat. I could not be happier to see you. <laughs> he just says, that's fucked. <laughs> Wolfwing again. Thank you for the bit. A level 20 bard comes through on her Love Again tour. Delene Sion. Oh, good grief. Tell him, Josh, thank you for the 50 bits episode title. Designated Tiger. <laughs> that's I pretty mean, cute. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Also, uh, this isn't a bit drop, but uh, Julian Lauren, we see you. Thank you for swinging by, uh, sending good vibes in your direction. Uh, more oh, Thrandor, yeah. thank you for the 100 bits. I was supposed to be sleeping one hour ago. How dare you be that fun? I mean, nobody Oops. told you to go to bed. We'll be more boring next week, I promise. <laughs> Sorry, I went a little off the handle. I'll go very quiet for you. Uh, lovely Lorelai, thank you for the 150 bits. Perfect session to come back to. Missed you guys. Also, I'm not gonna lie, when he slipped on the oil, he got very close to passing out in that moment. Like, he was, like, two amazing. away. Oh. I mean, like, really shit. Yeah. It was a solid hit. It was a punch. A good punch. Rajar knocks himself unconscious. <laughs> oh my god, we killed Rajar. <laughs> <laughs> That wasn't We'd have who to we weaken it for the rest kill. of the entire fucking show. I guess I I am rare drawer. Uh, I hate I hate people. Uh, did we, did we just turn him into a Deke version of himself? Uh -huh. McLovin, thank you for the tier one sub. We appreciate it. Very kind of you. Uh, <laughs> we've got Dice Roller. Thank you for the bits. Honestly, thought Otho was about to be an only child there. <laughs> Zen, thank you for the hundred bits. Shell came up with an amazing episode title earlier, Home My Loan. 
Ouch. Yup, that's a title. That exists. Bob, 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 thank you for the 500 bits. Again, I was talking with my dad about how <sighs> interesting everyone in this show is. I mentioned how Bosco was a Bulls fan. He wanted me to tell you he will never forgive Michael Jordan and the Bulls for stealing the Sonics chance at another championship. You know what? And let your dad know that I miss that his team isn't in the NBA anymore. The Sonics should still be a team. Uh, as as, you know, as a Sonics fan, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, but... You know, I wasn't I wasn't worried that Otha was going to be an only child. I, worried, I was worried that Otha was going to be an uncle. I was going to... <laughs> 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 You're gonna have to explain Ooh. how that works. Uh, I I I, I can tell you. If, I was gonna tell you if, if you got to the bedroom, there would have been something, you know. Ooh. No, 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 nothing like that. But you would have learned a little bit about the relationship. Oh, I mean, we learned a lot about their relationship. We learned a lot about their relationship, and all I did Jeez. was lead them on. All I will say is that Rajar values consent greatly, so. Nothing would, would have happened in that There's regard. Nothing sexier than consent. For yeah, nothing, yeah. nothing might have happened. It's up to Kai now. <laughs> <laughs> Balls in your court, kiddo. What you gonna do? Uh, you know, Aerith, of all the international incidents, that was the least one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> was yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, an affair with one of our party members was not on the bingo card. And if it was, congratulations. That's the only bingo card. <laughs> Era, thank you so much for the bits. Happy to give the funny number bits. This is my first time on the Unexpectables Campaign 2 stream. Well, welcome in. Hello. Hi. All right, are we good to keep going? I think so. Are we? Uh, let's go down the line here. Connor, you get to go? Right. Connor's there. Oh, there he is. Bosco, good to go? I'm here. Gaijin, good to go? I'm still coughing a lot, but I'm good. Mark, good to go? Yeah. Zan, good to go? I am good to go. Zito, good to go? TP, player one. All right. Just gonna... Oh, I just realized I never went over to our slideshow page. I'm so sorry, chat. No. Oh, oh, man. Works oh. Hard. I know. We'll see it at the end. We'll see it at the end. Sorry. First the pop tart, then the first slides. I don't I'm know. dropping Damn. everything. Yeah. I'm dropping everything. Go to jail. Go directly <laughs> to jail. It's so great to be back. Oh. So, first of all, E Scan and Stragall, I need constitution saving throws, please. Sick. Yep. <laughs> just just uh just normal. Yeah. Black con save. Yeah, that's about right. That's okay. a ten for E Scan. Oh honey. Okay. Let's start with E Scan first. Oh boy. <laughs> e Scan, you wake up to just pure darkness. And your back is sore, as if you've been sleeping in a weird position. Uh, where am I? <clears throat> as you kind of maneuver out, your head pops out of a hay bale. And you find yourself inside of a... Calling it a stall would be very generous. Um, it is like almost the size of like a building size uh, pen containing the single largest boar you've ever seen in your entire life. It is twice the size of Humphrey. Oh my God. <laughs> and its horns are embellished with spikes and various other decorations. It has a dark kind of blackish brown fur and piercing eyes, and with every breath, you can feel your own lungs shake as this giant boar looks down at you. The dreaded moor boar. This uh. thing is huge. Like, it probably would take, like, four or five e-scans stacked on top of each other to reach the full height of this thing. <clears throat> uh, hello. Uh... I hope I'm not intruding. I imagine you're slowly tiptoeing away at this point. Yeah, trying to, like, with one eye, trying to find the door and the other kept on the boar as I'm backing away slowly. Roll a animal handling check. Oh, Lord. 
Okay, 19. Okay. As you kind of like, you're like, okay, it's fine, it's fine. It kind of looks over and goes back to eating what looks to be some sort of like, you know, pile of fruit that it seems to have been gorging itself on. And you manage to kind of slip between the bars and then make your way out and just kind of... <sighs> and sure enough, as you look up, there seems to be a sign that has been bolted to the door that reads Ragnarok. <laughs> I think I just witnessed the end of everything. <clears throat> okay. And he's going to head back towards the, I guess, the yeah. guest rooms where we were staying. Also, you have a very bad headache as well. Oh, yes. Yeah, you are hungover. You are not hungover to a point where it's going to hinder your basic abilities, but you definitely feel it in the head and the eyes. <clears throat> My two best features. Stragal, your eyes crack open, uh, and you are also hungover. Why is my sight audible? It's also worth pointing out, neither of you remember most of last night after eating dinner. What a shame the fairies got them. Fairies? <laughs> what? <laughs> that Stragal guys are staying in the same room, right? Or is it who else? I forget who we were staying with. I think that's what the case was. I think that was the case. Yeah, I think it yeah. was the brothers, then Stragal and Gaius, and then Milo and Iskan. I think. Milo given... slept by himself all last night. Gaius, oh, given that you are still in here, not at any form of attentiveness or arms, I assume we did not create an international incident last night. Eh. Takes a sip of water. What do you mean, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Gaius just smiles at him. Uh, there was a game. There was a game of it. Nothing too serious, though. I'm just gonna chalk it up to the fairies got you. Fairies? Yeah, I, I'm. I'm just as confused as you are, but I'm gonna keep doing it because it's funny. Oh, all right. Uh, I suppose we'll make our way towards breakfast and get a lot of water. I. And the short answer was nothing happened. Pats him on the shoulder. Uh, thank you. Guys, Ugh. I pour water over his head. Uh, Strigal will head towards the area where breakfast is normally served. To the breakfast right. room. The rest of you guys so emerge as well. Yeah. <laughs> all right. As you all sit down for breakfast, uh, as you make your way out of the guest rooms, you do notice that Dessa <laughs> is stationed outside of Rosera and Aya's room. It kind of gives you all like a bit of a nod of acknowledgement. Mm. Uh, as you all get some morning breakfast, you eat up. Notably, the berserkers are also eating. They're not in the trading yard at all. Uh, and Redmond seems to be vacant as well. Uh, it seems to be just the berserkers. It seems like there's no training today. It's the Lord's Day. <laughs> <laughs> Every day is the Lord's Day in Delvaria, man. I don't know what to tell you. <clears throat> Woo. Uh, good to see everyone awake and <clears throat> very much alive. Everyone good has... game last night. What? Oh, that was interesting. <laughs> what? Oh, right, you guys were drunk. Yeah, we, we played Princess <clears throat> Keepaway last night. We, we... What? Yeah, TAAO ended up winning. You shot Redman with, like, an ice blade or something. No, I there's I wouldn't do that. That's no. Oh, it was right. like, and he was on the ground like, oh, and then you guys came over, thought he was like a fairy. That was really funny as well. What? Oh yeah, it was great. Eastcon you know, just given... has an absolutely wide-eyed, horrified look on his face. <laughs> guys, guys just takes a sip of a, of like orange juice. Told you, fairies. Uh. <laughs> Stragal's gonna check himself and then East gone for any accidental tattoos and then be happy that didn't <laughs> You can make is, those show up in feathers. I'm is impressed. he okay? I didn't I didn't mean to I hope I didn't. Oh cry. yeah, he's fine. He's just working since you know Rajar didn't wake up for training today, so <sighs> in your drunk in your drunken stupor you healed him. You did. That was quite impressive. Oh, thank goodness. Uh still I should probably find him and apologize. He didn't seem all that blessed about it. Mm. 
Mm. Nah, he thought it was hilarious, personally. <clears throat> who would have... Who would have thought bringing magic into the mix would make things more interesting? Milo immediately shrinks down in his chair. <laughs> Guys also shrinks. Uh, what's on today's agenda, then? <sighs> AOA well, think... DS. I don't think training is on the agenda. I think Rejerar might be sleeping off his uh, escapades. Uh, Goyce is right, though. Aya did want to see us. Oh, then we should make post haste once we are done here. <sighs> Quite so. Kai? Hmm? You're rather quiet. Anything happen? Uh, last night? No, nothing happened. We uh, played a fun game and went to bed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> A fun game. Oh my god. It ain't me. It ain't me. <laughs> uh, I guess once we're done with breakfast, we'll head over to, I assume, the apothecary? Probably where she's going to be at. Yep. Yep. As you go to the apothecary, she's not there. Oh. Oh. Now we get to be all on the same side for Princess Keepaway. <laughs> yeah. Now we get to get Princess Keepaway. Team like, switch. Oh, uh, guys, she might actually be in the in, in their bedchamber quarters. Oh. Oh, we should probably wait it out then. Yeah, I don't know if I want to go disturb them. So I guess we just kind of wait outside the apothecary until she shows up. It, it would be rather foolish to make assumptions and then wait there all day and she's not even in there. We could ask one of the servants if they've seen Princess Aya. A capital idea. As you guys kind of begin to make your way back to the apothecary, you do see a rather, you know, rather shy-looking servant woman kind of making her way through. Currently, it seems like she's cleaning laundry. Uh, and you kind of, you guys stop her, I assume. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She's Stop shy. Right there, criminal scum. <laughs> She's shy. So we just go, you! <laughs> you! <laughs> you! Stop right there. Oh, okay. You violated I'm... the law. What? Tur tur you turn have page page court to find or serve your sentence. I'm... Fucking, I'm... fucking I'm... turn the corner pay and... with your blood. No! <laughs> <laughs> it has <laughs> been a month. Why I was about to say, we, you we, die? We turn the corner and then Death I Deserve Violi starts playing in the background. <laughs> <laughs> um... Uh, can I help you? Uh, we were wondering if you've seen Princess Aya around at I all today. I don't know if she's with her husband at the moment. Ah, I see. Thank you very much. Would they still be inside their chambers? Um, I assume so. Very well. I mean, I wouldn't disturb them, but it, you, you are guests, so um, perhaps ask Lady Dessa. She, she might know better. That makes sense. Rather not play with borrowed time. Very well. Do you know where Lady Dessa is? Uh, in front of their bed chambers, guarding. Ah, it does also make sense. <laughs> also, um, I, I, um, you know, no, actually, no, never mind. Never mind. I'm not gonna say insight. 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 Yeah. Everyone draw the insight. It's pretty mm. obvious. You don't really have to insight that. Just five people squinting at her. <laughs> as, you all, as all five of you squint at her, she stops and she goes, um, just maybe don't drop any more flasks of oil where our workers make regular, um, movement. Uh, what? <laughs> what? Uh, Otho, Otho just slow turns towards the others. What did so, you guys so, do last night? So you know how Milo was forcibly getting turtled into his armor last night? He's doing that willfully right now. <laughs> Dude, you're that fucking you you are that fucking Phoenix Wright animation. Right, are you sure you know what you're doing? Why would you ever think that edge works? <laughs> You'll be okay. sure to be more mindful. Of course. I, I blame Redmond, honestly, but I just hope you don't make a habit out of it. He's very much an enabler. We won't. Of course. Have a good morning day. Day, morning, whatever. Bye. She just like I, runs I do, off. I do want to ask her before she fucks off. I do want to ask her one question though. If uh, if yes. we uh if they're gonna if we're gonna be uh if they're gonna be busy and we're not gonna be able to see a a at all, uh, I'd like to ask where our prize weapons are being made. Oh, that's a good uh, question. 
Oh, um, I believe Master Redmond is making them. Ah, that makes sense. That's why he's busy. He's a grand weaponsmith. That's he usually every year he makes the weapons for the prizes for the grand hunt. Mm. Where would I find him at this time? Probably in his workshop, but I, I'm I wouldn't disturb him. If they're done, then he would probably seek you out. I imagine. Oh, very well. I mean, Damn. I, or... I won't. I won't stop you. But I mean, it's up to you. I just I, I don't know. Okay. okay. Just just a, just an idea. If you know drunk off his ass is gonna, you know, be there all day, and we're not gonna be, be able to see Aya. That is fair. Yeah. The servant girl just gently kind of does another bow, and, like, but she bows too far, and some of the laundry falls out of her, and she's like, oh, and she kind of gathers it up, and then, like, sheepishly just runs away around oh. the corner. All right. She's more mild than East Gun is. Catapult. All right. All right, no! Oh, <laughs> no! 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 So All mean. right. Well, we out here then. To the bedroom. To right. the bedroom. Hold, hold no. on. Uh, God no! <laughs> the sweet dragon logo in and out. <laughs> <laughs> As you approach the hallway, you do see Dessa there, and she kind of turns. And she goes, "Well, oh, some of you are certainly looking better than others, Stragall." <laughs> yes. I cannot believe an emissary of Hearthland is taking a drink in such an important affair, and yet... Please don't tell Master Candlestaff. <laughs> I don't expect to see him for a very long time, so you don't have I to do. worry. <laughs> well, then that's up to you whether or not to snitch. I just smile. Evil. <sighs> Give me but a moment, and you watch as Dessa turns around, and she kind of, like, gently rasps the door and then cracks it open. And you can hear kind of some voices inside... And then eventually, uh, Dessa kind of gestures y'all to come forward. Mm -hmm. So the door is gently creaked open, and you see currently Aya just finishing up braiding one side of her hair. And she goes, oh, "I'm so sorry. I was up pretty late last night. I apologize." Oh, uh, that's fine. I'm I'm sorry for inconvenience at all. Um, it was fine. Just a late night talk, and she looks over and you see Rare Charge just like, uh, like splayed out, like <laughs> <laughs> drooling on one side of the mouth. Uh. Uh, she kind of walks over and then, like, kind of like using all of her strength, just pushes his arm back on top of the bed and then just pulls a blanket <laughs> over top of him. Uh. <sighs> all right, let's. Uh, oh, the book, the book. Uh, shit, where did I put that? And she kind of looks around the room until eventually, uh, Otho, she... you actually notice next to you, she it's on. She did a swear! She did a swear. Uh, Otho, you notice to the right on one of the dressers, you do see, um, the book. Right there, my lady. Oh, thank you. And she walks over and she grabs it. I apologize. It's just I'm a little tired. But, um, I think we might have a ticket with this. But, um, I think it's best that we... Uh... You're talking too loud. Oh, uh, <laughs> we should go to the apothecary. Very well. As you guys kind of leave the room, she gently closes the door and goes, drink the rest of the water, okay? <laughs> and closes the door behind her. Can Stragall leave a quick note for Rare Draw? Sure. Uh, he's <laughs> just going to say, we went to the apothecaries. That way he doesn't, like, <laughs> again, go, <laughs> Princess, keep away, too! Yeah. <laughs> Don't hear from me in a month. Send the link. Hard mode. This time he's sober. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. No, 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 no. What are you talking about? Nightmare mode. He's fucking hungover. Oh, my God. Oh. Yeah, that's actually worked. Um, as Aya walks through the hall, Dessa immediately flanks on one side. So, I had an epiphany the other night while you guys were having dinner. Oi. We had that discussion, remember, about the, the glass analogy, you know, life, death is the air and the water in the glass. Oh, right. Plugging the hole. That's right. Uh, plugging a hole. Exactly. It was interesting because I was thinking about that. I remembered early on while I was residing here, before I was really kind of intertwined with everything, there was a visitor from a far off land seeking medicine also. Um, I was not consulted because at the time, again, things weren't super great. Um, it was too early. Uh, you, you get it? You understand? It was just, it, it was a risk. Um, but I thought maybe there was a lead there that might help us out in what we're doing. Because it sounded uh, not similar, but different. 
Um, that is not helpful at all. I'm rambling. I'm not making much sense. I I'll explain once we get into the apothecary. Oh, that's fine. Uh, and you guys walk into the apothecary. The it's in disarray, by the way, because remember, he flipped over beds. Yeah. And as she yeah. walks in, she sees the beds and she goes... <sighs> like, has like a smile on her face, which is sighs. Oh. oh, Master Gaius, do you mind? Oh, no problem. Thank you. Jack. Giant, uh, giant's might and switch over and just start putting stuff like back up on its right side. I apologies, I hate to make you do that, but just in case. Well, it doesn't sound like there'll be any training today. That's okay. Labor is its own training. Fair enough. Um, Master Otho, uh, Master Kai, you have experience, and actually Stragal as well. You have some experience with um, ledgers and paperwork, correct? Yes, I will not. you could say that. Okay. Uh, she kind of folds open the book, and you notice that it is like more of a folder than a book. And she kind of goes, we're trying to find someone from Athel here. I thought I found it last night, but I, I lost it when we were running around. Um, we're looking for a visitor from Athel specifically. Um, within the past year, um, I believe the name starts with a V. Investigation check? This would be investigation yeah. checks, yeah. Anyone who wants to help out with that, I would probably say the hungover people probably won't want to hang help out with that. <laughs> uh, can I can can, can I give can I give uh, the help action to someone else since mine's kind of meh? Sure. Who would you like to help? Uh, who would most benefit it, gang? Otho. Okay, well, I help uh, Otho. I, I, I was going to say, under normal circumstances, with East Ken's background, he might be able to look through this. No, um, but now Strigal and East Condor is going to eat crickets in the corner. I am not yeah. eating crickets. How dare you? Eat crickets. I am a lettuce-only lizard. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you eat a cricket wow. now. As he's eating a fucking raw, like, chicken leg. I just like, I only eat quinoa. Quinoa. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine, like, East guy putting a hand on his chest with his fingers, just like, excuse me, I'm a lettuce-only lizard, thank How you. How dare you? <laughs> I'm not like other lizards. Alright. Oh god, I don't want him Go to be ahead, an girl. Investigation with, with advantage. advantage. Yeah. Uh, well, the first one is a four. Let's do it again. Second one is also a four. <laughs> what? Oh, what? what? Mm. Wow. Well, we out here. Uh, as Aya kind of flips through the pages, uh, this ledger is very strange. Uh, it is not the type of ledger you're used to seeing. It almost feels more like a personal, like a like a serial killer's like ledger, because it's uh. inconsistent. It only notes people of notable power or influence, and there's lots of gaps between dates. Um, the handwriting suggests it's probably by Erdan, uh, who seems to be kind of you know about this sort of thing but it's not kept in a sense of like actual record keeping it's kept in a sense of like what rich person was here on this day and what did, what were they here for more or less um you see various individuals from far off lands you actually see as well as eltmer uh people from eltmer visiting for various different things weapons uh talks of strategy training otherwise uh, however, as you skim through, you do find one name that stands out, uh, specifically from Athel, and it was probably about, I'm gonna say about six months back, essentially, so about half a year ago. Uh, grab my own notes here. Monty, mm -hmm. I have a question if it's not gonna be interrupting to you. Sure, what's your question? Uh, do either of the older two, um... Uh, Hearthland princesses were they were either of them married to uh, the royals of Athel? No, they were not. Okay. Um, that, actually, I could check that. Actually, let me check that for you because that is important. I gotta grab my Hearthland book though. My bad. No, you're good. We turn back to see uh, Eastcan eating lentils off the floor. Uh oh no yes yes uh, Claire Herthlin was married to a no in a noble house in Athel. Oh. Not the royal family, but a noble house in Athel. So you are correct. Uh, however, that is not the name that is listed here from Athel. 
Sure. Uh, specifically, uh, Kai, you find it uh, about six months ago. There's a noted visitation from Viscar Luke, Lord of the Thirteen Grand Knights of Athel. That seems important. Hang on a second. Is it? What did you say? Was Vi Viscount? Viscar Luke. Oh, Viscar name. Viscar. Luke. It's a name, yeah. Viscar Luke. That? I will type that out for you. Thank you. Making sure I'm spelling it right. Viscar Luke. Yep. Viscar Luke. Well, I completely fucked that up. Yeah, right? I knew it was a Y, but... Damn, Mark. Are you a linguist? I looked at No, my I don't books. study tongues. Are you a linguist? Yes. How many words do you know? All of them. Fuck. <laughs> I, Monty, I looked at my notes, and I saw Session Zero's notes, and I almost had a fucking stroke. <laughs> oh, boy. Because you... You remember a certain someone we had to talk to during the festivities that kind of feels like that name almost felt similar. Yeah, but it's a different person, <clears throat> fairly certain. Uh-huh, uh-huh. My, my, my brain just went, wait a fucking sec. Oh, thank God, it's not what I thought it was. I, I don't know who you mean. I don't know where my session zero is. Well, that, well that, that person was also from Easton Vale, so... Yeah, but still, like, the name, like, almost, like, made me go, wait, wh wh what, what? I did not spell that even remotely close. Uh, do you need to find this person? No. Uh, look here. Uh, and she points out, it lists down in this ledger, arrived and inqu inquired about notable herbs growing near oasises in the area, specifically searching for the Esovido flower. A rare medicine. Uh, Esovito? Esovito, yeah. Don't write Despacito. Don't write Despacito. Don't write Despacito. <laughs> Esovito is what it's oh. called. I was saying, don't write Crisito. Uh, there's more details, actually. Uh, it reads out, Viscar Luke, Lord of the Thirteen Grand Knights of Athol, arrived in this date, which indicates six months ago, in search of the Esovito flower, a rare flower that grows amongst the edges of remote oasises by order of his king to use upon his wife to resuscitate her back to health. Hmm. Does it say which king? I'm sorry. That's the king uh, of Athol. The king of Athol. Got it. Okay, okay. Yeah. That's interesting information mm -hmm. and how long ago was this six, six months, months ago that lines up with when all that hullabaloo was meant to have happened that led yep. to julie having to be vacated from the country it all happened well, Fire Nation i i do know somebody i know of somebody from earthland that married into a noble family in athel if you need oh claire touch. Yes. Oh, yeah, of course. The kind of looking over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah my, you mean my fucking sister? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Master Chagall. I know I did not involve myself much with my family, but I do remember. Uh, no, no. Had... Apologies are mine. I drank far too much last night. I'm still paying the price for that. But Oh, I have a hangover assistant. Would you guys. You no, know, I deserve this. Time? Are you sure? Uh, yeah, I have worked. Uh, yeah, I'll be fine. I won't turn it down. The Esavito is, uh, okay. well, at least the way I knew it. Oh, oh, no, sorry, here you go. I'm so sorry. I ignored you. I'm so sorry, Iskan. Oh. No, I'll grab you. You need some water. You need to mix this with water, okay? It's bitter. It's quite bitter, though. Just, just fucking, I'd like, I'd like it. No! <laughs> yeah, none for you. No. Well, I didn't Everyone offer it to you. <laughs> I don't remember asking. Um... The reason I thought of this, and she actually grabs another book and folds it out, and it shows a diagram of this flower, and it looks beautiful. It looks like a stunning, beautiful, Ooh. like, lily-like flower. And she kind of notes, she goes, it's not a normal ingredient I would use, as it is incredibly rare. Um, and I was thinking about it, that it's rare in Hearthland, but it's actually possibly available in um, Delvaria. It is said to be the essence of life, a miracle flower. It's incredibly rare. 
Um, it is said only gods and kings have ever been able to cultivate it, which is why it only occurs naturally in nature. I was thinking that this could be a very good catalyst for my medicine for the children. It has enough life in it that it would probably counteract the effects of death that you are so concerned with. Huh. Essa Vido, essence of life. Do you have any kind of a picture or image of the flowers so we can have some idea what we're looking for? She holds up the book that she was showing you before. See, this I was a... going to ask, but... <laughs> <laughs> this is an illustration. I don't know how accurate it is, but um, given the fact that the flower was collected by this Vice Garluk individual, at least he was successful in some regard. Monty? Yes. May I attempt a nature check to see if I've ever seen this flower before? Sure, go for it. That is a soft 20. Ooh. Ooh. Very good. The Esavito, which has a few names, Miracle Flower tends to be one of the names, um, Flower of Life, um, tends to grow, and you've heard stories about this. There's lots of fairy tales, specifically legends, of, you know, uh, you know, loved ones who, you know, they've been struck by a curse or some sort of thing and they have to find a miracle miracle cure and how they have to go on a journey to find this flower. Um, it is said that it is defended or guarded. It is highly coveted by nymphs specifically. So nymph-like entities uh, as well as other nature spirits specifically tends to guard them. Huh. I think I've heard of this before, uh, usually in myths and legends. Uh, That's why I didn't think to use it at all. As far as Hearthland's concerned, we've only heard stories of it. In fact, I didn't even realize it was a real thing to begin with until I remembered that visitor. Well, all the stories talk about it being guarded by nymphs or other nature spirits. Well, it's uh, a good thing you're a druid, Master Iskan. I, I bet you'd have no trouble getting this flower. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Did I put too much pressure on you? I, I, I just... No, it's just... I'm still trying to figure out what all of that means. I never really had any instruction or anything. Well, maybe this would be a nice way to find out. I, I was gonna say, um... Do you think you could retrieve this from me? Where will we start? Well, an well. oasis. I asked, um, well, he was kind of drunk, but I asked Rejar last night if he has ever heard of such a thing, and he mentioned that there's old stories about it, but um, he doesn't believe that any would grow around the lakeside of Orcastoria, which makes sense. If there's a flower of uh, such incredible import just in the city, no doubt someone has either uprooted and sold it, or it simply does not drive here. Um, I'd say once Spiritual is feeling better, maybe we could ask him. Maybe he might have an idea. It's not a bad idea. There's one slight problem um, that is a bit tricky. Um, Master Kai, I was actually going to ask you about it, because you might know what to do. With magic, anyway. Sure, whatever I can do to help. She kind of, like, flattens out the picture of the Essa, Essa Vito, and she kind of looks towards you, and she goes, My biggest concern is that the flower does not last very long outside of its, um, once it's plucked, so to speak which mean it might require some means to sustain it. Either that or um, she kind of looks behind herself, just trying to avoid like Rerjar being in earshot. I may have to accompany you to synthesize the medicine on the spot. I know that there's a spell that can help things not decay, but I'm not knowledgeable about magic in that sense. Monty would... I know what that spell is? Uh, that would be an Arcana check. Okay. 11. Okay. Uh, 11? Considering you're studying, 
And considering your field, this is a necromancy spell, which means the check for this is lower for you. That spell, the only spell you can think of that would be gentle repose. Okay. And am I, I'm familiar with like the ability to cast it. Uh, can you get closer to your mic a little bit? You're Sorry, so I'm, so I'm familiar with the spell and how to cast it if I were mm -hmm. to be able to find all the components for it. Do you know the spell? Do you have it in your spell book? I don't have it on my spell book. I know the spell uh, above game. I was just asking if kind of. I would say with the 11, yes, you have a okay. general knowledge of the spell. Okay. Real quick, I can cast it. Would I? Oh. I, yeah. Okay. I can, I can straight up cast it. I'd be like, um, I actually know that. Do you? I didn't know Clarence could cast it. Uh, yeah, it's it's it, it it's a bit more advanced, but I can do it. Uh, from my knowledge, the spell is usually used on corpses, but I've heard that there are variations in which people can use it to maintain, you know, plants and things. Yeah, I've uh, I've never heard it used to maintain plants, but I mean, life is life. That's what I was thinking too. Kai, what do you think? I mean, it, it lasts a while as long as we're not going too far away. Uh, maybe a little bit more than a week is typically how long you can keep something in that state. Hmm. I I would very much like to go with you. It'd be fun and exciting, but I don't want to leave Layla with her baby on the way. Right? I'd rather be here as much as an adventure sounds very fun. It's honestly probably better for all of our healths if you didn't go with us. Indeed. And he kind of glances over at the lump that is Rare Jar. <laughs> oh. Athel is also quite dangerous at the moment. I don't intend to go to Athel. I mean, I intend you need to find an oasis. That's that. That's what I was saying. Yeah, plenty oh. of oasis is outside of Athel, I would imagine. I imagine if this Vice Guard Luke found the flower, that he must have made it back to Athel by now. I, if I remember the map correctly isn't there uh a, a, an oasis near Helligsvard? that's a lake oh yeah oases are scattered about between the lands uh if you guys recall way way early on you found like a really tiny little edge of an oasis mm -hmm. that you guys camped at i was at. trying to look for where that was yeah they're not noted on the map because they're so small they're such small bodies of water that they're you know Don't have it in my notes. To go to the notes. Well, if you're all willing to make the effort to go out there, I think that <sighs> she stands up firmly and kind of puts a ha both hands on her waist in a commanding pose and kind of nods. Give me but a moment. And she immediately steps out with confidence. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, you watch as, uh, Dessa tries to follow her, but Aya tells her to wait with you guys. Which she obliges. Mm -hmm. Oh, right, I forgot we're not in the room anymore. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 you guys are the No, I used there. my telescopic vision to glance at Rare Jar when I said that earlier. Enhance. Ooh. Yeah. Eyes just, like, pop, squash and stretch all the way back to the room. <laughs> Like a banjo kazooie enemy. <laughs> Dessa kind of looks over. Did did anybody? Sorry, above board. Did anybody audibly say something out loud about Athel being dangerous? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, did. Oh, oh, did. did. Dessa will turn to you and go, "What's going on in Athel?" Well, we're not quite sure, actually. We just know that no one's collecting taxes. That yeah. is very suspicious. Yes. We've... Well, if no one's collecting taxes, and the queen was rather sick at least six months ago... Oh, this wasn't the queen. This was unrelated to the royal family. Oh, I thought, the king, I thought you said the king of Apple. Yeah, the yeah, king's, the queen. Okay. king's wife. Let me, let me clarify here, because I think there might be a bit of confusion. So... <clears throat> hmm. Vicegar Luke, Lord of the Thirteen Grand Knights of Athel came for his wife oh, came to find okay. yes oh, came to it. find okay. medicine for his wife 
and he was approved to do so by the king. So his king was like, you can go do this, basically. Got it. Gotcha. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I missed okay. that up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That might be some confusion there. Yeah, that changes a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Redact what I said. Yeah, no. The queen the queen of, of Athel is question mark. Um, but it was Vicegar Luke was coming here for his own, you know, his own reasons. But he was approved by the king to do so. We really only had uh, interactions in Centralia, so uh, we're not entirely sure what's going on, but it's something. And he kind of gives Oath a, a, a little bit of a side glance, as if to the say, time... remember, we're not supposed to share that information. The times are tumultuous. Yeah, in tumultuous times, them not collecting taxes is strange. Not to one to rumor mill, but the king's greed was well known in some of the nations and on certain circles. The king of Athel, that is. You don't say. Again, I should not speak ill of the royal families of other countries, but it's only what I've heard in rumors and taverns. Well, what have you heard? Oh, man, I again, I don't want to. You're neighboring the nation. I don't want to give you bad information and lead to any sorts of conflicts. Yeah. But. Trust me, there will be no conflicts on our end. Not for a while. Fair enough. There are rumors. There are rumors that the king's, one of the king's eldest sons, practices. Uh, basically, has some sort of connection with demons. That's just a rumor, probably meant to question the next in line. The king himself is a very organized and just ruler. However, he has been known to be a bit heavy-handed on the people at times. In regards to taxes, that's my surprise of that suddenly vanishing. Big family, lots of people. I don't know, it's just strange is all. We've always had cordial relations with Athel, at least in Hearthlands, and I'm sure that Sergal would probably have more information than me. Never been had much issue there, given the fact that Eastonvale is between us. There's always been a bit of a buffer, but trade's always been good. It's always seemed fair. Commerce coming in and out has always been a priority, it seems. But hmm. still, it's a concern, to say the least. Sorry, you said that one of his sons went missing? No. No. One of the sons was said was rumored to be practicing some kind yeah, of I, magic I that, that works with demons. I thought hmm. I thought I heard you say that one of them went missing as well. No. Uh she uh, did say okay. there was a it was it's a big family. <clears throat> you hear kind of trudging footsteps approach the apothecary and Aya returns with very like not so keen looking Rejar in tow mm. you see him kind of drinking out of a drinking horn as he looks down towards all of you and Aya walks over to you Eastgan and goes may I see your map well, of course Rejar over here and he kind of politely follows and looks over her shoulder. Uh. <laughs> He's a flop. He beat me by three seconds. Uh, Aya looks behind herself and goes, you want the, the closest, like the, the fastest path, correct? Oi. Okay. The, uh, the fastest, so maybe here? You see Rajar kind of leaning over and goes, I do not like these lands on paper, but it is around here, I suppose. And could you take them? If that is what you wish for, very well, I can take them. They can ride boars. You can ride boars, can't you? Yeah. We... Uh... Oh, hey. We know someone in town who can guide us as well, if you would rather stay. No, I want to go with you. As you wish. Uh, the support would be welcome. Uh, it is good to see you awake, Rishra. I have vague memories of last night. 
Oh. Mm. Oh. Oh. No, no, fuck you, Joe. Wait, let me. Where's modify memory? Hang on a second. Uh, then you're doing yeah. better than I am. You. Oh, maybe it was just a dream. He kind of shakes his head side to side and yep, blinks a couple a dream. times. <laughs> no, I want to go with you. Consider it part of your personal training. As you wish. Yeah. Hey, uh, I would appreciate it. <sighs> Eat a meal. Pack your things. We leave at midday. Understood. Oh. Where's Redmond? I believe he is in his forge. Let's go visit him. Are you mm. sure? I, I haven't even taken a shower yet. Dude. What's a shower? No, or a bath. Sorry. <laughs> uh, yes. That's a shower. I just he uses magic to make it fall. Clean <laughs> uh, himself up. Press to waterration. Mm. Morton Kynan's instant plumbing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Aya looks to all of you. Plunger. <laughs> Aya kind of hands. Who would like a jar? <laughs> I'll take it. Is this what kind of what? Oh, I'll for carrying take it. the flower. Got it. Yeah, it's to put the flower in. Yeah, she, yeah. No, Mark, she hands the, the jar to you. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> once you We've get the flower, before, once you pick it, cast gentle repose on it. Okay. Right. And then put it inside the jar. So that way, no insects or animals get to it. I the scent... Oh, sorry, go ahead. I was just going to say, we've only got 10 days after I cast it, so hopefully we can make it back in time. That's okay. That's okay. The Oasis is two days out. Oh, that's good news. Mm, sorry, that's sorry. Good. Go on, Aya. Be so loud. <laughs> Rare Charge just winces his eyes shut. <laughs> oh... oh. Oh, too bright, too loud. I could cast blindness, deafness on him. It's time to change <laughs> oh your God. name to Milo Dim Silent. <laughs> uh, Aya kind of turns and smiles. Here, you can take the book too to ensure you find the right flower. Hi, um, Kai, got it. Hi, why don't you take it? You collect books. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll take it. Just um, please bring it back. It's a very important book. It was a wedding gift, so. Sure, no problem. Okay. Oh, I don't want to say goodbye, but I mean, that's good. Once you get back, I'll synthesize the cure as soon as possible. If you do not wish to say goodbye, then we simply will say until next we meet. Till next we meet. We, 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 uh, oh, sorry, long night. Until next we meet. There we go. I got it. Oh, I digress. Um, Marishar, please. Take, and you watch as he turns and looks at her and she kind of goes a bit quiet and she goes okay and then he looks towards the rest of you and kind of nudges his headboard and goes come on let's move she okay uh insight her I was gonna yeah. say I would like to insight that again. I would like to do that I got advantage 15 insight Today on Zan doesn't roll higher than a five. That is a dean. I'll join you under a five. Twenty-five for East Ken. Jesus Christ. Seventeen. Uh East Ken, Otho, and uh Gaius, the three of you. The exchange of looks you get, um there's a sense of uneasiness to Aya. Uh, but not in like a like a end of the world kind of way. It's hard to read Rajar because he is hungover and is a little annoyed. Um, however, there is a kind of an exchange of looks. Uh, and Otho and Iskan, probably more Iskan, you realize the exchange of looks is like they're no longer your under your protection anymore, sort of deal. Is the sort of look oh. that he gives her. More to oh. say like they're in a weird way, and not a possessive way, but to be like, they're mine now, basically. If they die, <laughs> they die. <laughs> yeah, it's that sort of thing where it's like, if you want me to do this, 
these friends of yours are now no longer under your protection. They're with me now, basically. Right. Which is We're why doing she gives my way. We're doing so this if, my way. Yeah. If okay. we fuck up, it's for keeps. Mm hmm. Yeah. And so Aya kind of has a little bit of a concerned look at him, but she's also a bit of a, you know, understanding there. Okay. She's yeah, asked for his help. This is his cost. Uh, reading that, Otho will try to make eye contact with Aya. And she looks and to you. He'll 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 give her uh he'll give her a slight smile and a and a slight tilt of the head to say we got this. She kind of like she had the moment of fear, but then as you look at her, she kind of reconstitutes herself and gives you like a very firm nod of affirmation. All right, Scrum gentlemen, bow, and then follow Rizra. Go ahead. No, no, he was just. Yeah, just affirming to follow Rare Gerard. All right. As you follow Rare Gerard, you make your way through the uh, slight destruction that you had caused uh, <laughs> the night briar. Um, however, you make your way around the servant's quarter into the back where you find yourself... You actually missed this section. Um, you probably noticed on the map it says a handsome man lives here or works oh, here. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, yeah. I saw that. that was Rare... That's Redmond. <laughs> that's his little note. Who else of would course. It be? Yeah. Uh, and sure enough, as you turn the corner, you see a lot of, like, stretched leather canvases, like, for leatherworking. You also see what appears to be a bunch of, like, skulls. Just a pile of skulls oh. of various different creatures. Uh, and various sets of decay. Some are boiling. Some are just kind of sitting. Uh, however, the front of the building has, like, a tiny double double door, but also it looks to be, like, a large, like wood curtain like a slatted kind of like curtain that can be pulled up and sure enough you see redmond currently working shirt off by the way sorry Strigal. um <laughs> armor off work pants on seems to be sharpening up uh some weapons specifically the weapons that you had won mm. i have to check those real fast where is your prizes? Hopefully I still have those in my notes. Uh, sorry, I'm just trying to find. Uh, we okay. asked for a peasant cannon. And, uh... <laughs> oh, the peasant railgun is ready? Yeah. Oh, dude, I didn't realize we were in 3-5. Yeah, can you pass this to the next person and then pass this <laughs> to the next person and so on and so forth? As you approach with, with uh, Rare Jar looking very uncomfortable, well, not uncomfortable, he's just still nursing the headache, uh, Redmond kind of stops what he's doing and he kind of looks up and goes, Rare Jar, how are you doing, boy? Exciting night last night? And he kind of, like, sets the weapon aside and Rare Jar just kind of groans and goes, no, I slept, and I have vague memories of things, but I'm not going to ask any questions. They're here for their weapons, and Rojo kind of steps back. Redman immediately, in like the excited dad who just made like a treehouse for his kids kind of way, oh. kind of collapses his oh. hands together and springs up, and he goes, "Perfect timing! I've got them all done for you. Took me a bit of extra time. I had someone." kind of distracting me a little bit, and he looks towards you, Strigal, a little bit, because you have <laughs> yanked him away from his work a couple <clears> times. <throat> I would have had these for you earlier, but uh, entertainment is entertainment, of course, and who knows how long you're going to be here for. Let's see here. Uh, Gaius. Yeah, Gaius, like, steps forward. I have quite the thing for you. I reconstituted the jawbone of the creature to create you this wonderful axe. And the axe appears to be made out of the jawbone of the sandworm, with the teeth being almost like, you know, like shark teeth, like made into like a saw edge. Ooh. You gave me a fucking Max Makahedal? I'm assuming, I don't know what that is, so Make maybe. tight. <laughs> Monster it, hunter looking ass. No, it's no, a, 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 a Makahedal is a Polynesian piece of stone or slab of wood oh, that is covered yeah. with fucking razor sharp teeth from sharks. That is, that is accurate, yes. That is exactly what it Hell looks yeah. like. Hell yeah. Uh, it also has, uh, like, kind of skin, the skin of this creature on the hilt, uh, with bits of bone hanging out in the guard, and he kind of walks up, he goes, the balance is quite nice, not too heavy, light enough, but still gives you a nice, satisfying swing. Here you go. He kind of tosses it towards you, Gaius. Oh, Gaius picks it up and looks at it. He's just, like, 
his eyes are wide and there's a giant there's a grin cheek to cheek as he's looking at his trophy made manifest there's oh, a, it's, there is a it's, sense of pride in his face quite nice there uh milo i'm not oh. used to making shields I, i'd still trust your skills of course of course I used the skull of one of the smaller ones. I had asked the boys if they would be willing to sacrifice one of their kills. Uh, I used the front of the skull and kind of moved it down. And he actually pulls it out. It literally looks like, you know, when someone like cross sections a skull, like they just cut it down to size. Mm -hmm. That's the front, like the middle part. And the surrounding area is what appears to be like the stretched hardy hide with also teeth spiking out the sides. It almost looks oh. like a mini sun. It's like perfectly round buckler with like a skull center and then like a sun motif on the outside. Ooh. With like the, the like, you know, when you draw like a little cartoon sun, you have like the little triangles mm -hmm. on the outside. He kind of takes it and it's definitely small for him. And he kind of hands it off. He goes, the edges are a bit sharp, but it should protect you pretty well. Oh, this looks amazing. Thank you kindly. Not the type of work I'm used to, but I'm glad you uh, enjoy it. <coughs> or Spike uh, from the fucking 1800s illustration books. Otho! Yes? You're a man of class. I know that Delvari isn't well known for its finery or silks, but I decided to make you something rather interesting looking. And you watch as he, like, brings out these two very weird looking daggers uh with a dagger you're used to like you know the blade the hilt and then the handle this is all from one solid piece of horn like both daggers are carved out almost like you ever see a soapstone carving or like an obsidian blade Ooh. but the whole thing is the dagger and at the end there's a loop where there's two pieces of long fabric at the end Ooh, interesting they're light, very easy to throw, very well balanced, might I add. And concealable wise, you can probably hide them in the coat pocket without being noticed. And he tosses both to you. Do you catch them? Uh, of course I do. They're nice. These are probably the nicest daggers you ever had. They look very strange because they are just like carved out of solid bone, but they feel the weight's really nice. The guards feel right. It's, it's a nice blade. You've never seen anything like it before. Otha will uh, do a couple of test swings just to check the balance of them. These are uh, quite nice. Iskan. And he'll he'll uh, bring the flat of the blade up to his uh, forehead in a sort of salute with the uh, worm bone knife. <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> Iskan will uh. sort of nervously step forward, attempting to avoid eye contact. I yes. ha have heard of such a weapon. He kind of brings out your new boomerang. This boomerang is interesting because on the edges, it is got like, it is just brought down to a sharp edge. The inside part uh, actually has like a handle that goes across from one end to the other. And the center part, like where the actual flat of the, the boomerang is, is hollowed out. There's like circles where the bone has been removed. And he kind of like, he goes, I wanted to make it do a little bit more damage than usual, but I figured perhaps more importantly, this weapon should return to you when you throw it. Uh, yeah. And I spent more time on that than improving its just martial capabilities. I, I hope you don't mind. I probably should have asked you, but I don't know. I just was so, I had this idea of the challenge. I thought it'd be kind of interesting. No, I, I appreciate it. You seem you like to hang out in the back anyway, so that's what I wish to assume, but I uh, figured it might be helpful to have it come back to you. Monty, just to double check above game, because it's been a minute, didn't I also give him Mira's staff for adjustments? You did, yeah. Okay, just making sure I'm not crazy. Okay. <clears throat> uh, he'll sort of step forward and uh, take the boomerang from Redmond and sort of very under his breath, trying to avoid Rejar hearing him, he just kind of says, Also, I think I owe you an apology for last night. Sorry. Oh, yeah. He kind of reaches up, and you now see where there's a bandage. Like, he lifts up his arm, and there's, like, a bandage on his side. He goes, That was an experience. I'm not used to ice magic. We don't really have that here, but, um... 
Hey, it's all part of the fun. Rajar looks down and goes, what fun? Nothing, never mind. Anyway, if you throw this at an enemy and you hit them, it will actually return to you. That was kind of part of the design. However, if your enemy is, say, made out of fire or goo or, uh, you know, physically does, has a physical thing where it could potentially destroy the boomerang, it will not return. So just keep that in mind. However, against most average animals or people, it will probably work as well. We'll come back to you. Wow, even after contact? Yeah. Tricky to do that, but I figured it out. Wow. Well, thank you. Kai. Kai will a little sheepishly step up to his workstation. You watch as he pulls out a beautiful looking short, uh, short sword. It is, again, entirely made out of bone. The hilt seems to be made out of a knuckle bone that has been carved out almost like a rapier, so it actually can cover the entirety of your hand. And then there's also, similar to Otho, there's two streamers of uh, cloth that come out, almost matching Otho's daggers, with each one having an individual like uh, streamer of like color. Yours has two at the bottom, basically. It's a fine blade, lightweight, easy to swing. I figured you'd want something that kind of stays in your hand much easier, seeing as how you like to read your book at the same time. I tried to keep that in mind. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what I would want. I put some cabochons around the sort of uh, side here, and you do notice that like, while it is a smooth blade, there are like cabochons kind of running down the opposite length where it's like blunt, just to add some embellishments. I don't know if they would help, but perhaps they might help you channel some of your magic through it, perhaps in future. But uh, I'm not magically inclined. It was a guess at best. I if there's any problem, but you know, here we are. Uh... If, there's any, if there's any problems with it, then I can remove the cabochons. It's easy enough. And Strigal. Yes. You watch as he kind of like flips over what looks more like a trident than a halberd. It appears to be made out of a pelvic bone that seems to have been combined with a bunch of other bones. Uh, it is a... It is, I'm just going to say it. It's a spinal column halberd is the oh, best way to shit. describe this thing. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's like a spinal column halberd with like a pelvic bone that's been filed down to basically be turned into like a pitchfork of death. Uh, th thank you. Of course. I hope you enjoy. It's interesting, making the weapon of someone we went to war with. Hopefully it mends the bond. I also want to make it to impress upon the royal families of Hearthland that we carry no ill will. A weapon made for peace is rarely made, but here it is. Appreciate it. Anyway. I will make sure that many foes fall before I fall with it. So, above board, these weapons do not count as magical, However, Gaius, yeah. your great axe is considered a, a masterwork great axe, meaning he has a plus one to hit and to damage. However, do, it is not a magical item. It is just a very well crafted weapon. Uh, Milo, plus mm -hmm. one works, baby. Milo, you can use your shield as a weapon. Oh yeah! Uh, it treat it as a uh, basically treat it as your mace. It does piercing damage. So you can keep Sick. your one hand free. You don't need to have a mace in the other hand if you don't oh, want to. That's so... Oh, that's that's really oh, good. That's, dude, that's tight. <laughs> that's really good for you, yeah. Redman tried to do stuff for you that he think would work really well for you. Oh, that's that frees up a, a hand for magic, so that's, that's awesome. That was his thought. Otho, both of your daggers are masterwork daggers. Hell yeah. So they're both plus one to hit, plus one damage. Again... Just note that these are not magical items. Uh, Eastcan, your boomerang has unique property that if it hits a target, it can come back to you. So basically has the returning property. However, if the enemy is a fire elemental or an ooze that has any sort of like resistance in that way, um, it won't come back to you. So that will be case by case basis. Um, so just keep that in mind. It's going to be very obviously very specific enemies. Like if you fight sure. like a water elemental and you hit it with the boomerang, the boomerang's inside of it. I'm very sorry. Sure. Stuff like that. 
Uh, Kai, your short sword is a masterwork short sword as well. Sweet. So plus one, plus one. And Strigal, your halberd is a masterwork halberd, plus one, plus one. Thank you. I'm going to get Made this, but... oh, by Redmond, the master crafter of Delvaria. Uh, does mine do the same damage as the regular boomerang? It does, yeah. It's basically okay. the same as a normal boomerang, except for it will come back if you it throw it and hit something. It just has returning on a hit. It has returning on it, yeah. Okay. I'm giving this axe a name. I hope you know this, right? Oh, I was about to say in character. So what you gonna name all your weapons, guys? Oh, good. It wasn't just me who was thinking that. Of course yeah, not! Yeah, good, a good weapon needs a good name. The Blades of Motorola all have names. Hmm. Guys, like, looks at the fucking, like, the, 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 the sawtooth, like, blades just, like, going from, like, smaller to larger towards the end of the blade until it comes into the giant head of an axe. The lag might runs well. Mine's, uh, mine, mine might be a little silly, but, um, I think I'm gonna call this Skybite. That's a good name. Stalagmite. Skybite. <laughs> Excellent names. Just just the just me and you just like hogging looking at each other with our fist yep. balled. <laughs> <Yep. shivering. laughs> we we have we have slightly bent noodly arms that are really small. Wait a fucking second, hold the shit up. Stalagmite. Ooh. Is everyone gonna do bite names? <laughs> God. Bite this. Hang, hang, hang. hang on, I'm doing some mad googling right now. <laughs> yes. You guys can decide on the names next week if you want to give it yeah. more time to think. Hell yeah. However, Rare Gerard does look down and he goes, You have your weapons, we have our goal. My wife will be waiting for our return to synthesize your medicine. Strigal is going to place the arcane focus uh, that acts as the spear on top of his old halberd into the new one. It's interesting because it like the axe blade is like on the one side and then like the full on like spear part is coming out the other. So it looks like almost like a cradle. Like the, it's like the bone part is cradling the axe head and yet both are accessible for damage dealing. That's cool. He's going to call it War's End. Oh. oh. Alright, so as you guys follow Rare Gerard, mount up on some of the uh, other Berserkers, uh, Delvarian Warbores, you make yourself northeast, uh, sorry, northwest specifically, uh, as you make your way northwest to a lone oasis. What dangers there await you, uncertain, but with the cure so close to your grasp, that is where we're going to end the session for tonight. Yeah! Let's go! Weapon! Weapon. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Beautiful. Good session, also, you guys. It's so good to be back. I hope you guys, I hope you guys liked my funny reference I did. Absolutely not. Which one? I... <laughs> Can you specify? You know what's the really one... funny? Is... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Sorry. The one where Otho salutes by holding the flat of the blade made from oh, dune to his head. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> What's a dune? I. Uh, it's a collection of sand that forms a Oscar, small... Oscar, fly back here so I can slap the, you. This is not a... <laughs> the sand. Hold on. Zan, yeah, this no. is not a rib on Strigal, and I'm totally down for it, but it was really funny because every time you're like, no, Redmond, stay. He's like, but I got stuff to... Okay. <laughs> he was actually working on your weapons, so you would have gotten <laughs> them sooner, but he kept getting pulled I, away. I like you better this way, Monty. Oh, yeah. Hey, uh, hey Monty, hold on. Can you, can you, like, allow me to just do this? I want to roll stalagmite. Go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on. I, I gotta do it in... I'm gonna roll it in D20. Hang on. Here we go. Ooh. <laughs> Wow. Very nice. That's a good nice. first roll right there. Well then. What do you say I'll to that? that I, well. I have Max... come up with a name for my bone meringue. You guys have received your sandworm weapons, which are very oh, yeah. cool. My, mm -hmm. my, my, I, my attack to hit with this thing is plus seven, and my max damage is uh, 1d12 plus five. 
and that will go to 1d12 plus 6 if I max out my strength. That's yeah. also before Jeez. your giant smite. Yeah. <laughs> these, weapons, these weapons are really good. They, But to be fair, you could have died for them. As much as people are like, yeah. oh, it seemed really... I want you guys to understand, if that Sandworm fight went bad, like yeah. someone... Like, I, I, I know I always say it, but like... When you guys fought the demons in Athel, if anyone got knocked to zero, they would have outright died. They would have turned into a, a demon themselves. Mm -hmm. And then the sandworms, if anyone got pulled underneath the earth, how on earth would you get to them? They're done. Mm -hmm. Like, that's it. So there's been a I lot of close how to calls. Swim. Yeah, there's been a lot of close calls in this game that, like, no one has actually seen, but I know that they were close. And the sandworm fight was definitely a difficult one for that reason, which is also why I gave you guys time to plan, too, right? Yeah. So, yep. Yeah. It's... Real, real quick, for the wiki and the people who are curious, the name of, of East Gun's Bone Meringue is Totally. Totally. Yeah. What does that translate to? Uh, hawk. Oh, nice. I, like I guess that. specifically a prairie hawk, but prairie falcon, excuse me. Prairie falcon. Hmm. Wait, the sandworm returned them into demons? No, when they were fighting demons in Athel, when you guys were fighting the incursion, they're the rudderkin. If they knock you down to zero, you turn into a Lemur. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Connor, and do it. Oh, can we go back? I want to be a Lemur. Well, yeah, well. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. And the only way to like reverse that is with a wish spell. Like it's it's permanent death. So. Women? <laughs> that's not death. That's just being a, a demon. <laughs> oh, fate worse man. than death. This is a good session to get back on. Yeah, yeah it was, was fun. fun. I I will I have like... to ask Zito and Gaijin. Can you guys stick around after the game? I just want to talk about something really fast before you guys go. Sure. I hate to keep you here, but I would like to just brief. Well, I got I got nothing going session. on tomorrow outside of when I wake up. So, okay. and, um, and I can wake up whenever the fuck I need to. So that's fine. We didn't announce it at the beginning, but uh, next week will actually be a one shot because Gaijin will be traveling. I'm gonna put I'm you on the spot, sorry. Gaijin. No, it's okay. Gaijin will be traveling for Thanksgiving, and so um, next week there will be a, a Unexpectables one shot actually set in Alton that I'm currently organizing. So definitely Ooh. come and check that out. Ooh. Man, yeah. Zan, I wish we got to play in an Unexpectables one off. I know. What could that be like? <laughs> Yeah, I wish I, too. It's never happened, though. Oh. I can announce players because I'm still reaching out to people right now. I have two confirmed players, but um, there's going to be a fun Unexpectables one-shot next week. I I had a great idea for it. I'm really fucking excited because it's going to be really fun. Um, so I'm trying to get players for it right now. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah. Oh, it's so good to be back. I'm, I'm so excited to be back. I did the math on my max damage for one attack. <laughs> Uh huh. Twenty three. Oh Good. my lord. That's Good. Wow. Wow. Assuming four. assuming not crit. No, yeah, no. That is, that is max damage, not crit. That's amazing. Oh. Hit it very hard. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? <laughs> Yo. no, you had your time. Fuck out of here. Wait a year. Feel the sands of time pulling me away. Oh no. <laughs> oh. Five minutes. Well, uh, while certain people who I will not name uh, think of their name for their weapons, <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna <laughs> go ahead and go around the horn and deintroduce everybody, starting with Guy from Goomba. Where can they find you? What are you up to? Uh, Tuesday, Saturday, Sunday, 7 p.m. Central Time. Guy Goomba almost said my email. At <laughs> Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm, 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 I'm tired. Uh, I'm fading. Um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it's probably all going to be Mario RPG Remake. I know I've been doing a lot of, like, shooty games, and that's kind of my new brand. But that game made my my young heart sing. Uh, it is it is where I've made my first cringe OCs and and fan works and the like. It's, it's going to be good. You're not going to want to miss it. Embrace the cringe. Also, I, I released a new video talking about how Tabletop uh taught me very important zen lessons so go check out that video over on my youtube that's me right on um next we got mark allen jr where can they find you what are you up to you can find me on twitter and blue sky at mark allen jr here on twitch at aeon protect gaming you can follow me on tiktok now at mark allen jr vo 
and uh, yeah, check out Instagram where you will soon find pictures of my brand new pirate queen cat bunny. Uh, Instagram at chonk for life. Uh, Sunday, potentially, allegedly, there will be a music challenge stream, assuming my current temporary computer setup doesn't also explode on me. Uh, I don't know what god of technology I pissed off, but they have been mad at me the last two weeks. Um, so come around for that. I cannot guarantee or promise any other streams before then. Like I said, solving computer problems. Um, but other than that, yeah, that's it for me for now. Excellent. Next, we've got Xanalus Grim. Where can they find you? What are you up to? Hi, you could find me tomorrow over on Monty's Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash MontyGlue, where I will be playing uh, in her Dungeon of the Mad Mage uh, at 7 p.m. PST. Yeah. We are on a hell of a floor. Um, it is basically an obstacle course turned up to 11, and we're getting shouted at by a wizard, and it's very fun. Uh, so tune into that if you want to see more of that. On Monday, you can catch me over on my Twitch channel, which is twitch.tv slash Scrim, where I will be running a game around 7 p.m. PST for Bosco, Monty, and a few of other our friends. Uh, the bots for that you can find linked to on my Twitter at Zanny underscore Grim. Aside from that, on Tuesdays, we're going to get back into something potentially Halo, and then during the day around noon PST, uh, something potentially warrior -y. We'll see. Yay! Um, but aside from that, that's me. Excellent. Next, we've got Zito. Where can they find you? What are you up to? Twitch.tv slash Zito. Uh, I have seven and a half days to make my son a reality. If you could please check out Toothpicks Plush uh, over here on makeship.com. I got seven days to make him a real boy. And if he becomes a real boy, I got to make a Minecraft SMP server. Uh, beyond that, uh, also, by the way, you can now purchase, uh, they have a new payment option on, uh, Makeship. So, instead of buying him at full price, you can buy him for $7.50 now, and then only have to pay another $7.50 for four payments bi-weekly. Finance so, your possum. So, you can finance your possum for the amount of, like, maybe a really large cup of coffee for two weeks, uh, for four payments bi-weekly, instead of having to do, like a 40 full-ass fucking payment, which is kind of sick, and I'm really glad they did that option. Uh, beyond that, Sunday will be carts, but instead of uh, normal carts, it's going to be a charity-driven one. I am going to be doing a charity of cart racing for, uh, for the Boys and Girls uh, Club of America, uh, and I have some very terrible incentives one of them being, I will have to play a very shitty $40 game in the same vein of Peppa Pig. Uh, I'm still looking at the list of games that are on here, and they're all terrible. So if you want to see me suffer, uh, donate as much as you can. Uh, there actually will be also a... Uh, I'm sorry, I'm taking so long. Uh, oh, you're fine. Uh, they're actually... For those who like can't actually give money, that's okay. There's actually, uh, not only is there going to be a raffle for something cool, but if you, uh, donate, but also there's a, uh, a little, uh, a little survey you can take up to a set amount of times. Each time you complete the survey, it's like $2 added to the, uh, to the donation listing. So you don't have to pay anything, but if you do it like the set amount of times, you could like just retroactively give the, uh, the donation setting hundred and twenty five dollars by doing the survey the entire time you're just sitting there do it yeah do it I, gotta, I, gotta, I gotta i gotta play a two who game followed up by what my little pony something something the or... shark one <laughs> the baby shark game. oh yeah 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 I, i'd have to play the dollars yeah, the forty dollar baby shark game let me go let me get the name of that game so people can look it up on on Steam for some godforsaken reason and then be on a government list like me. Jesus baby, Christ. Baby sh Oh my god, I forgot the fucking... It's not in English. It's in Korean. The, oh. oh my god. The, the text is in English, but the voice is, is all in Korean. Uh, <laughs> baby Shark TM Sing and Swim Party. $40. $40 it is. 
you gotta get me to 3,000, uh, you gotta get me to 3k donation for that incentive to work, so you gotta make my suffering... <laughs> you gotta make that shit work to get me to suffer. I'll do it, though. You just gotta work for it. Right That'll on. Be Is that everything? Yeah, I'm sorry that took up so much. You're you're, fine. you're totally fine. The toothpick plush is very cute. It's yes, super cute. Please, please buy my son. He only Funny has seven man. days to live. <laughs> oh my god. He only has seven days to live. Uh, up next we've got Edward Bosco. Where can he find you? And what are you up to? You can find me at Bosco via both Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I'm right here on twitchtv slash Bosco. There, I made up for it. Time. Woo. <laughs> Sorry. That is a new Canadian record, actually. Let's go! Fuck you, Canada! What the fuck? You know that G Zito, that's dark? Wow. What, it's the truth. What the fuck do you want? The truth is hard sometimes. <laughs> sometimes you can't handle the truth. If you don't buy him in seven days, then we'll use toothpick as a toothpick. <laughs> Whoa. Damn. Damn, I can't believe Damn. it. I also gotta make a small little promo for it. I actually, I, um, I made a video of him in real, in real meat space life. That meat space life is real, dude. It's real. Uh -huh. I hate it. It's suffering something. <laughs> Next, we've got Monty Glue. Where can they find you? What are you up to? You can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. You can find me at Monty Glue on Blue Sky. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Uh, where tomorrow will be more Dungeon of the Mad Mage. If I don't run, Evie's gonna destroy my kneecaps, and he is in Canada, so he can do that if he wants to. Uh, yes, if you haven't caught Dungeon of the Mad Mage, we're on a very fun floor. It is considered the floor that you should never skip, apparently. Uh, so I'm very excited to run it. Uh, if you have missed the previous episode, it should be up on YouTube. If not, I'll be uploading it tonight. Uh, additionally, I have a throne now. Um, I have to add more stuff to it because I, I put a little bit on there and that was a bit of a mistake. But uh, I know, but I don't want to have some. Uh, Pop tarts are not good for you. <laughs> like they're delicious, but all they're right, good all for right. the soul. All right, they are. Fine. I don't know. Like, <laughs> what, what's another snack you like? Uh, I might put Pop tarts on there if I crave them. Maybe. <laughs> no, no, no! Don't deflect the question. What other what other things do you like? Oh my god. I like, uh, you know, high chews. You guys have high chews? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I really right. like high chews. All right, chat. High chews are actually on Throne's main storefront. You could suggest high chews for Monty. Okay, yes. but Monty, strawberry or apple? Oh, do you know what's wild? Okay, I like both of them, by the way. Both of them are good. Um, you know what's really surprising? I feel like the high chews had the best artificial grape flavor of anything I've ever had. Like, they're grape-flavored. Like, I don't... It's not my favorite, but their grape-flavored is really honestly quite good, and I quite like it. Mm. Um, I but I've never had the grape, actually. It's really good. It's like... Because I'm not a huge fan of, like... Because we have a grape-flavored thing is very artificial and gross, but that one, I'm like, this is actually quite nice. Um, mm. Also, yes, you can suggest items for Throne. Uh, if I reject it, do not take it personally. I just have limited space, and I might already have the thing you suggest. So just keep that in mind. I had someone suggest to me a Metal Guru Ramon model kit, and I already built and made it, so I was oh, I had to reject okay. that one. If I didn't have it already, I would have accepted it, but unfortunately, I already had it. So don't take it personally if I reject it. There's just circumstances where I you can. you heard her, Chad. You she only has limited spice. <laughs> limited limited spice. spice. That's what you said, Monty. Yeah, you did. Oh, did I say limited spice? You said yes. limited spice. Limited been out with the Americans space. for too long. Limited space. Thank now, you. That's an Australian word right there. Limited right. spice. That's Limited it. spice. That's it for well, me. I'm in the back rooms. Nothing to do but play the didgeridoo. <laughs> Sorry, I'm in a liminal spice. Nothing to do but rip didge. Oh my god, we're fun. Uh, I suppose that just leaves me and uh the more and more i thought about it the, i was i was thinking of doing something fancy for the name of the daggers uh but the more i thought about it the, the answer was right in front of my face uh the daggers are definitely called law and order oh you're gonna have to develop a special attack called executive producer dick wolf <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
shapeshifter that was a wolf, then you could have been. Oh, like, that would have been so good. Great. Richard would have been your me, first name. Dick Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> no, see, see, I stab them with it, and it sends them to the end credits. Perfect. <laughs> uh, yes. Um, they can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash Distortion Devil, as well as uh, Tumblr and Blue Sky at Distortion Devil. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, yep, I already explained what I've got going on at the beginning of the stream. Uh, you can hear me in the uh, a brand new sequel uh, to Ghost Runner, Ghost Runner 2, Let's as go. Adrian Bakunin, as well. Uh, Ghost Runner 2 is currently uh, nominated for Best Action Game at the Game Awards, so if you want to go ahead and drop a vote for Ghost Runner 2 for Best Action Game, I would Let's be Let's go. Grateful. Heck yeah. It would be yeah, very baby. cool. You also sound amazing in that game, by the way. Yeah, yeah for yeah, real. Yeah, sounds so cool. Ah, shucks. Uh, yes. Also, the I released the Fulgur Manager's Guide in the DMs Guild. Uh, be sure to check that out. And if you do happen to pick it up, please leave a rating and a review. Uh, always helps with the uh, visibility on that site. Uh, as well, you can get all my other supplements and look forward to the new one that I will work on when I feel like it. Uh, the Photomancer's Spellbook, which will have to do with light magic. Oh. Oh, I thought it was oh. going to be like people who use cameras. Dude, I'd love... I want like a fatal frame class now, like an Eberron. Oh, fatal that'd be frame sick! Class. Yeah, an that'd artificer cool. that uses photography, or like yeah. a spirit yeah. shaman. You know, I you said that, and I for some reason I pictured Super Macho Man from Punch Out. You pictured, <laughs> you pictured, Connor. I, I did picture it. Hey! 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 Photo. Uh, <laughs> back. I've released the bogus. Anyway, uh, that's it for me. This episode was brought to you in part by Die Hard Dice. Die Hard Dice! Die, die Hard That's right. Uh, die Hard Dice is your one-stop shop for dice and dice accessories. And if you head on over to Die Hard Dice. Die Sorry. <laughs> Still going. <laughs> Slow trail off. It Calm. left. <laughs> Yeah, it's a place to be. <laughs> you can save 10% on your order if you use the code UNEXPECTABLES uh, when you shop at dieharddice.com. As well, check out our uh, the official collaboration between the Unexpectables and Die Hard Dice, the Lies Aspect Dice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, beautiful porcelain and navy blue inking. Uh, as well, uh, check out our spring store pick up some unexpected swag uh including apparel uh water bottles uh mugs other accessories stickers etc etc uh and we will ha definitely have more designs out in the future um we also couldn't do this weekend we got without bits and subs from viewers like you bits and uh, bits where and do we leave sure. off uh, that's I a great question I think we were at a hundred bit donation from Zen. It was bits not from Zen. Yeah, there were a couple of them, but I remember I was about to read one from them when we stopped. <gasps> that one was from four <sighs> days ago, so that's probably not that one. We might need to speed these ones up just because I do need to have a meeting with everybody before. Fair we go, enough. So we might be a bit fast. I'm very sorry. I'm just trying to find it right now. Oh if god! Not, just oh pick god! A spot. Just pick a spot. <laughs> Fuck it. It is we definitely, won't. definitely starting to double these for some reason. Uh, Zen Lita, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, Eastgan's weapon is totally badass. <laughs> How dare you? Uh, Alucard V, thank you for the 41 months. Callum Draws, thank you for the 10 bits. Oh no, Redmond's been injured. He needs mouth to mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. that would have been uh, great if you said that. Uh, Bubba Bob, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Monty, put Electrum Dice on the throne. <laughs> okay, um, is Electrum a real material in real life? Yes, 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 yes. 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 
Yeah, it absolutely you, is. It is, it is silver and gold. You know what? Go ahead and suggest it so I can ignore you. Oh, <laughs> damn. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> and finally, we've got from Oz195, 100 bits, title suggestion, Can Love Bloom on the Battlefield? Oh, yeah, no. we do need an episode uh, title. Yeah. I saw a couple good ones uh, during the episode. Uh, I saw Dude, Where's My Wife? <laughs> that was <laughs> really cool. Really like I, that I, I, I saw I'm... Hungover Games. <laughs> oh. That's awesome. I like that one a lot. I also really I, liked Designated um, Tiger. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Tiger was also funny. Dude, I'm sorry. Dude, where's my wife? Is so fucking good. <laughs> it is. Really good. Yeah, but we used that for Ravenloft. We said, "Dude, where's my cow? We're we gonna dump. We're we gonna do it again." Oh, okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Fair Hungover enough. Hungover Games is pretty good. That was yeah, really good. Hungover Games. Hungover Games yeah. is really mm -hmm. good. I like that Hungover one. Games is pretty good. I wrote them down, so we have them. All right, uh, all, right, all right. Who do we want to raid? I have a volunteer, I, but I'm biased. I, I so. also, I also have someone. <laughs> I, I, all, I think we should raid Arkov because he's playing Sonic, and I love Sonic. Wow. And I'm sure Monty would never want to raid him, so that's. I want to hear. I want to hear Zito's recommendation though, because I like. Well, I, I mean, like... if if it's based purely by number, then yeah, Arkov's gonna win. So. Okay. Are you okay I mean, with that, Sarah's... Zito? What? Are you okay with that, Zito? If we raid Arkov? I mean, sure. Whatever. Okay. I don't care. Right. <laughs> I don't we haven't believe. raided him in a while. We haven't been live in a while. I know. That's true. All oh, right. I got to raid them. That's yeah, it's no, up to no, you, I, buddy. I'm doing it. What do you mean? Oh, never that. mind. Well, never mind. I don't have to do shit. Yeah. No. no. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm in, I'm in yeah, control. Connor, Connor oh you God. just sit back and look pretty. What should yeah. our raid message be? Dude, where's my wife? Dude, <laughs> where's my wife? Okay. Yeah, dude, yeah, dude, There's the raid message. Wife. There you go. Dude, where's my wife? No. Be free. Yeah. Hey, I know that. For a brief moment, there were 69 raiders. Yo. <laughs> Damn. Nice. Damn. Can we get 169? 